Welcome back to Booty High Seas Low Expectations. You join us for the finale. That's right, part two of session 14, the final in our first campaign within the world of Booty. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for everyone for tuning in, watching, subscribing, donating, Patreoning, all that stuff. We do appreciate it. And that's why this series has made it to completion, much like our cast. <laughs> I Ross Corby, Chris Trump. Trump. We survived that whole way. <laughs> Sissy boy Craig, stop crying. <laughs> Sorry. Um, they play really <laughs> great characters. Um, and uh, what? what? Sissy boy? What's wrong with Sissy boy? No, My granddad used to say that to me all the time when I cried. <laughs> no, I don't think that's right. <laughs> don't think that's um, okay. So we are going to be taking on the horn, the legendary uh, big boss of the high seas. It's an area of um, legend and battle Imagine and if challenge it is just and reward. A hmm? and it doesn't actually exist. Oh my god. What a it was just a rumor. Is. You turn this up and it's just rumor. some rocks. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh man. Uh, the ultimate bait. Um, Trot, did you do any notes for part oh, one? I'm just writing right now. But uh, we just did it. We Fresh. just. We literally just did it. If you haven't watched part one yet of session 14, go back and watch it, you dumbass. Um, we resolved, the group resolved the triangular turtle situation. Um, they managed to break Titus free from his indentured servitude, only to have him sink to the bottom of the ocean, uh, from which he found um, little Puddlington, and uh, a young Triton boy called Finn helped him escape his shackles, his manacles. Uh, he swam to the surface and eventually uh, made it back onto the raw dog. Uh, the two remaining heroes, Sword and Kapipi of the heroes. Raw Dog, managed to um, trick, convince, teleport, and charm their way out of a situation on board that ship. You now have broken free. The ship you last saw was being smashed to pieces by the giant turtle that they had attempted it was angry. to enslave. Uh, it had some retribution there. Um, now you are back on your course, just a day or two away from the legendary horn. Now, I actually looked at this up and there's a term for the thing I was thinking of. So, you know how like the Bermuda Triangle exists? Yeah. You know how currents and winds exist? Mm -hmm. What? Um, yeah, they exist. Now, there is a term for these uh, conjoined or convening currents and it is a Gaia. Act I believe. Of God. A uh, gyre. A gyre. A gyre. So a gyre is a, is a term for currents and winds that converge in a certain place. Now the horn is that. The horn is in the center of the Atlantic. It is um, an area which most adventurers, most uh, shipping uh, companies try to avoid. It takes extra time and effort, but they, they avoid it. However, those who are perhaps the Castellia, the people from the castle, uh, the city by the sea, the monster hunters, they seek out the horn. They seek to take on its uh, legendary trials. And that is what you are doing now. You are sailing towards the horn. Hell Anything yeah. you want to do before you get to the horn, you have I been want informed to hear the whole by song. your... your na uh, sorry? I want to hear the whole song that could be performed en route. As do we all. What's the song body massage? What's happening? Is you want fine. a full body massage from Handsome Andy? Fine. Yeah, Handsome Andy could do it. You want him to do it? Well, I'm just knackered from the swimming. Yeah. All right. It's been a while since I've done too much, uh, that much physical exercise in such a short. Are you space naked? Of time. No, I've got a little briefs on. You've got a little briefs on. Okay. Well, nipples are exposed. Do you want him to put his fingers in your gills? No. Okay. This is. has so got a full body massage. He does. I'll get. It's I'll a kick sports off. massage, right? I'm gonna kick off. If it's he a does. sports massage. Yeah. A sports massage, yeah. He needs to just get these muscles, you know, back to their former glory. Glory. Phoebe, what does your song sound like? I mean, it... it, it Verse one. Go on. Verse, Verse one. one. I mean, it goes on for, like, hours. Wow, it's you're going to have a lot of this then. It's like a whole opera. It I, is an I'll epic finale. We're hearing yeah, the whole thing. That goes like... Uh, the cliff notes of the performance. First of all, the ship looked like this as I was doing it. There you go. Yeah. You can describe that to someone listening. So we're on our way to the horn. Sorry, it's, it's all the ship. Yeah, of course. Yep. So podcast listeners. It's lit up like a laser Imagine ship. you can see the ship. Okay. Okay, that's for the <laughs> so, That's great. It's, it's got all the lights going on. The light show from Bob and Nob's light show box is going as the as it's dusk. You say it's going to take a couple of days to get there. So Hours. we do, it's like a festival, you know, like I'm headlining each night. 
Boom, 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 boom. boom. Who's on tonight? Oh, it's Kapipi again. Kapipi. Boom, 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 boom. Tricked him, Z2. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to the horn. Sing it. We're going, We're going to, to the horn. Two people We're sing gonna back. get horny at the horn. Gonna, gonna get, get horny it's a call and at the horn. And then, dun, 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 and we bring it down. Your keys, Abby. Dun, 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 I can't I do didn't this. know you were carrying any keys. I don't know whatever I'm Three days in, I can't yeah. do this again. And then it gets really emotional. It's, it's, like, it's gone off too long. <laughs> We've come a long way together, but friendship You're telling me! Together, we're best friends. I can't do without you. You were fully over Titus's death at one point. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. And then like that, that goes on for a bit, and then we skip into like there's like a lute solo in there. Imagine like wow. Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, how it goes through the... Yeah. Dun, 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 and then it goes to like an acapella bit where it's like, It's a horn! It's a horn! <laughs> we are going to the horn! <laughs> Yeah, and then the loop. Each section is like, yeah. All right, okay. You take a you take a point of exhaustion. So hours and hours of performance. Is over days. No, exhaustion's actually really bad. He's gonna kill himself up there. Bring him down. Hoist him. You take half your HP as damage, and you're exhausted for the rest of the fight. Okay, brilliant. Um, you have no spell slots. Uh, wow. Good performance, though. Thank you. I wasn't done. And then I end <laughs> down on my knees up to the sky mm -hmm. like this. Titus comes in. He levitates me up with the whole, mm -hmm. you know, above the whole ship. And we're just like... Ah! Smoke machine. Ah! Totally worth the spell slot. <laughs> Expecting a big round of applause, but everyone's gone to Nothing sleep. Comes only the lapping of the waves against the and hull Bongo and the swarf of the gulls. Bongo is he's done. He's like he's on the floor, a discarded tanker to the side, mm. and you need to give me a death saving throw. Oh God! No, you don't. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, again, it's, it's a fun. It's <laughs> just we're, we're having fun. Toying with our lives. Here. Having, uh, <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> and out of nowhere, a dragon just plucks you. <laughs> don't you want to carry on? Like no! <laughs> what the fuck? The horn is just like full of death. Uh, no, right, good job, PP. Uh, if you don't already have it, you can have a point of inspiration, and so could everybody. How do I add the, that? Oh, uh, just just to remember it if you want. Basically, it just allows you Wait. to get advantage oh, on a roll of your choice. Hmm? Yeah, tick that. What the Whoa. fuck? It's, it's literally it. just an indication that you have it. Okay. Okay. And then you can just use that at any I'm point inspired. to get an uh, advantage on a any roll. Inspired to give myself so double that. health. Right, you are. <laughs> but essentially, it will give you a re-roll, um, and you'll get to choose which one you want to use. It's a silly overused mechanic, mm -hmm. uh, underused. Mm, underused. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, but mm. you know why not use it? Um, Is that on every roll or just my next one? You just get to choose any roll when you, you want use it. Once. You can roll it again. Yeah. Okay. Like advantage. Remember advantage. We yeah. pick the better roll. So it's that. It's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. The sea is calm. The wind is beginning to drop as a barely conscious Bongo confirms after glancing at the maps held in front of him by Hans Mandy uh, that you l appear to be very close to the horn. You find out that Bongo is becoming more and more drunk because he's heard about the stories of the horn and the pressure is getting to him. He feels worried, stressed, you know, all those things. And in order to deal with that, he wants to seem professional. You know, he's like, I need to, I need to keep this together. But in, in trying to keep it together, he's actually, you know, passed out drunk, which is sort of undone that. But anyway, Bongo sort of lazily, Here we go. Um, you are, you, you, you're, you're entering a fog bank. So, fog. What? Well, I'd like to make a deposit. Begins to... <laughs> <laughs> He's taking a dump over the side. <laughs> <laughs> This is my closet, <laughs> fog bank. There's a moment of silence and then a plop. Um, <laughs> the fog is rolling around you. You can no longer see the surface of the ocean. The wind has dropped to almost nothing. The ship is barely moving, it's moving at a few knots. Uh, you drift, uh, maintaining your course into the fog. We've got to be alert for anything. We're in uncharted territories now. No, it's on the chart, that's how we got oh, it. Oh, there it is, yeah. It's on the chart, there that's, that's exactly it. how we got it. I really thought we were off here. the map at this What's point. going on with, um, what's his name over there? You know, like oh, what is his name? Drunken Bongo. boy, he's really drunk. What? Drunken boy. I assumed you just had a good time at my gigs. No, I think he's, there's something he's else. He's drowning his sorrows. I, in fact, commanded him to stop drinking and he didn't listen. Oh my so God. which makes me think he's already got too far gone. Do you think he needs an intervention? Should we dip him, dunk him? Cage him? 
We could cage him and then dunk him. I was thinking more of just talking to him and find out what's wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, we could do that. As yeah. you're talking, I'm not so through good the at that. silence, through the almost complete silence, considering you're at the sea, you hear like a... And you hear the unmistakable sound of rowing of a small rowboat. Um, you hear the oars dropping into the water, a stroke, and then the oar coming out of the water once again. Off of the front left of your ships, the front left, um, uh, the port bow. Did anyone order a delivery? No, did they deliver this well, here? Out? Yeah. Can you do that? I, I guess I could polymorph myself as a bird and go grab something if you want. Oh, yeah. But I'd be a bird for an hour. I don't want to be a bird for an hour. I guess none of what us did, ordered We it. didn't order anything. I don't think we ordered anything. Let's just look over the side and see what that sound is. You look over the side and a golden light pierces through the fog bank. Um, first of all, you just see the light itself and then the image begins to resolve. Uh, the there is a tall, spindly looking character uh, emerges from the mist. Um, seemingly a man. He looks a little undead, more undead than that image. Um, a sort of, sort of washed up sea mage like character emerges from the mist on a small rowboat. Uh, the rowers themselves, uh, the, the character I'm describing is stood up at the front holding a golden lantern aloft, peering through the mist. There are a bank of four row, uh, rowers sat behind him who are skeletons. Uh, skeletons rowing his little boat. What the fuck? Do we say something to them? Well, what do you say to a skeleton? He stands at the bow, mostly decomposed. Oh, your bag of bones, something like that? I don't know. Oh, so threatening. Nice. Should we, th should we just... Oh, brave travellers! Offer them some food. Oh, hello. I'm the keeper of the horn. Are you looking to get horny? Yeah, God, yes. I thought you'd never ask. We've been looking for you for weeks. Well, this could be a trick, guys. What's with the skeleton? Why would it be a trick? He I don't said know, the horn is hard to get through. It could just be a... He literally said the name of the thing we're here Show for. Show us your credentials. Who are you, sir? I am the keeper of the horn. I ask of you again. Are you looking to get horny? I swear he's... I he's can't tell if he's joking. Yeah, it's too far away to tell if he's time. giggling or not. Are you giggling? I want to get horny. Is I that... can't hear you. I want to get. I am. Ho... I am horny. But the horn. We mean something different to what you maybe think we mean, though. No. Lower down a ladder, and I will come aboard. Why? Out of the question. What's your? What's with the skeletons? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to get horny. Well, I, I do, but you lower a ladder. Let me aboard or right. turn away. Andy, and lower a ladder, mate. Andy. Andy. Before we lower you yeah. as a ladder, can you lower the ladder? Big yeah, very good. Yeah, lower the ladder, ladder and he throws down like Duh. one of those rope ladders with the wooden <laughs> nice. slats. Nice. Uh, with the wooden steps. Come on uh, up then, you horny bastard. <laughs> I'm coming. He puts the a lantern guy. down. Climbs That's pretty up. grim. He's got a little yeah. backpack on, climbs up the ladder and steps out onto the deck. You see him now on his full height, a tall man around Titus's height, very skinny. Uh, his clothes look like they've been regularly dunked in ocean water. Uh, parts of his face are falling off of his cheekbones. Um, he oh. looks to be almost decomposing. Not triton. He smells of Barely salt. not fucking this guy first. He is not a triton. Smells of salt. He smells of salt and the ocean. Does it have the smell? Salt? It does, actually, yeah. Does it? I've never smelt it. Oh, What's yeah. going on here, I'm horny one? Ones. You can't Do you smell. have a name, horny traveller? I am known simply yeah. as the keeper of the horn. <laughs> Ah, horny beast. Does it call to you? Uh, well, I guess we're calling to the horn. So you seek we're looking for horny to action. get horny? Yeah, we're looking for some horny action. Are all these two other adventurers alongside you? Do they yeah, all we're see? all here to be horny. We're all here to be horny. Be clear. Say we're here for the horn. Just say we're getting horny. We want to get horny with this guy. So you seek yeah. to get... Is this kink or something? I don't care. Horny? Why Look, is he, he likes smirking it. every time he funny. says that? Yes, I believe so. We will be on it. We're gonna get horny. We're maybe. horny. We horny. wanna get horny. You want to get horny? Yes. yes. The do. deep calls to you and you have answered. Oh. Which of its great titans will you choose? Oh, I wait, have wait, for what? you here three trinkets. Each trinket represents a great titan. Just, uh, and, uh, Whoa, this is moving quickly. He reaches into his bag. Yeah, I need some um, stretching exercises. And pulls out three small um, little trinkets each seemingly representing a primal essence of their respective titan. Awesome These trinkets could fit in your pocket, but the monsters they represent won't. <laughs> uh, um, so, in front of you, there are three trinkets. Uh, one is a small crab. 
made of what looks like a, sti a stippled volcanic rock. Um, it's been sort of carefully whittled. Uh, the, mm. uh, the next is a tiny glass vial shaped like a fish. It seems to mm. contain seawater. The final one is the feather of a flying fish. Now, this is, in fact, a fin. Flying fish don't have feathers, of course, but they do have uh, fins on either side of them that look like wings. This is a sort of preserved feather. Which of these trinkets do you choose? I will let you talk amongst yourself before you do. Wait, what was the second one again? A tiny glass oh, vial, vial, the shape of a fish containing seawater. Okay. The okay. first was a crab made of a stippled volcanic yep. rock. The third is a feather of a flying fish. Oh. Is this some sort of riddle? What is this? Uh, I think we just literally... Which one costs the most? Which one we, can oh, we pedal yeah, for the most? value. I think I can crush all three of these with my hands. Really? They're very really small, look at them. Yeah, Even the just... volcanic rock one? Yeah, I could, probably, I could probably stomp tough. on that so one. So are these mm -hmm. valuable? Could we these... resell it? What are these for? Do we keep joke? it? You can keep them if you survive, yes. So, wait a what's second, with this smirking? Come on. What do you mean survive? Something, something, <laughs> you see, I did something. Many adventurers. <laughs> are you ill? There's something about your look and it makes me want to cough, the smell mainly. Many adventurers come to the horn. They think that they will find great riches here, but my beasts often turn them back. So how often have these trinkets been held out to adventurers and then taken back off their dead bodies? Many great beasts, these titans of the ocean, come to me. They are not simply beasts, but they Is that are- Is because you're Orny? <laughs> you did it funny. <laughs> these great beasts are not just mighty, they are also smart. They are not lured here by some mindless instinct. They are particularly violent individuals which enjoy fighting the best the world can offer. I speak with them, I speak with the creatures of the deep. I am an envoy, if you will, to the adventurers that come here. I offer you the chance to best one of these creatures, and in return, you shall receive a boon from Dovey Jans' locker. Dovey. Sorry, what's that again? Jans. Dovey. Dovey. Say, say the first one again, Dovey. Dovey Jans' locker. Sorry, I thought you said something Dovey else Jans. for a second there. It's good to meet you, Dovey. I am not Dovey. Oh, so you just have... Hey, Dovey, what's, so these little... Please stop models. calling me that. Oh, well, what's your name again? I am the Keeper of the Horn. Where's his locker? I have a name. Hornkeeper. Given to me by land folk. Hornkeeper? Yes. These three toys are representative of the real beasts. Indeed. What do each of those beasts' properties have? And can you tell me? <laughs> well, of course, there is an element of mystery, an element of surprise. Is element... this your kink? Do you get off on, like, luring? Oh, he's about to tell us. Sorry. Look, he's... We'll it's just weird with the whole trinket Look, thing. We choose the trinket, just smell it first. It's like, is this your day job? What is this? This is my job. This is my task. I do it for the joy of it. So you're not like bound or cursed paid. to do yeah. this or anything? You look like you've been cursed. You I'm look bound to this rock. I live upon the horn. The horn is a small island, a collection of rocks, the odd beach. Oh. Uh, but largely it is the convergence of currents that create a particularly rich area in the ocean, one of which I am bound to. Can you get deliveries out here, or is it kind of <clears throat> cut off? We get deliveries in the form of uh, other boats. He's smirking again. He's doing that Many have fallen smirk. afoul of the horn. It has not always been the case that adventurers come here to do battle. Often great containers, shipping companies, things like that, they fall afoul of the currents and rocks in these uh. regions, and well, they coalesce here. The breakages, the wreckages, they form on this island and uh, end their time here. Oh. Guys, do you find it weird that we just, we were so focused on the horn, we never actually considered what it is and if we want it. Or how it is. Or what, or how like it we is, or where it is. On or why it is what it is, mystery. or where. If you take on this battle, this, battle, if you best you my titan, that? I offer you a boon from Dovey Jane's locker. This can be a wish, a great item, who knows? It's something that you want. What are your wildest dreams? What are your ambitions, the things that you've always wished to obtain? Very personal I question. I will oh, you're reward not, you right, right, yeah. with an audience with the great behemoth of the deep, the one with which I confer. They will reward you. They will fulfill your wildest dreams. Well, I always I wish know. for well, more well, wishes. Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was just, <laughs> I was, I was just suggesting the, almost the exact same thing. Be careful what you wish for, but wish for a million wishes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We got you. More wishes, please. Damn. 
have got me again. <laughs> no! Oh. One request. Ugh. Do not waste the behemoth's time. Do we have to say it out loud? For you are You'll be squashed like a plankton. If I say it out loud, doesn't it mean it won't come true? No! Shut up! Choose a trinket. Do it now, or I will leave and sink we your car. Got to choose one. A trinket or collectively. Which? Yes, choose! Oh, the trinkets each? represent the titan you will face. Is it one each or one? It's one fucking trinket! Alright, which us. one? one tr okay, He's not right, smirking what? anymore. What well, each of them <laughs> that worries me. I was unsettled at first, but now I'm unsettled that the smirking has tell stopped. It, yeah, tell us about the three beasts if you can. Keep it mysterious though, wow. Ask if we're horny but again, tell us I exactly just want to see why. that smirk. Yeah. Which one's the easiest to, one to kill? The volcanic rock represents Krabner, the oh. demon crab. Oh, demon de crab. Demon is bad. A crab made huge by the rich thermal vents that litter the ocean floor. Oh. Crabs are so scary. Is yeah. The trinket well. that is a tiny glass vial, the shape of a fish containing seawater, oh. is Mion. Sounds vile. The fish demon. Another demon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, These are names the sailors give them. You must remember that. Let's hope the last right. one's not a demon. Finally, air. The feather of flying fish. This monster is Flaptos. The giant flying manta ray. That's wow. a good name. Is he a demon manta ray? No, he's just a giant flying manta ray. Oh, no. Flying sounds well, like a, a manta ray. problem. Mm. Manta rays are pretty scary creatures. How much range you got? Not much. Huh? You're if we good. had to destroy this beast. Range? Yeah. On what? If something was flying and you had to attack it. Oh, was... I can barely attack yeah, it right. in front of me. Or would you rather attack a giant, I'm assuming it's a big beast. Like the a crab? crab? They have shells, right? So I can almost relate to it. That's not what it's about, though. No? A crab's a protective shell. I yeah, think it helps a it a lot more rock. than the other ones. Yeah. A volcanic rock is right. strong. Right, and what was the other one? A trinket of fish or something? Some sort of fish in a bowl. That, sounds like a gold That fish. sounds easy, doesn't it? So that sounds like we can just yeah. pour it out of the you water. You seek to take on me on the fish demon. Oh, the I fish demon. demon. Oh, yeah, that's what they call demon. it, though. Like, but a little fishy, <laughs> like what damage can a little fishy yeah, do? Yeah, it's going to be gold. If we manage to get that on land, or do we have to go under the water because we'll, you'll die? Well, you can do that. That's the point. I yeah, can't I swim. Fight on this my is own pretty again. bad ah, I've almost fought all these battles on we my own. We can fight from the ship. So we've got the flying one, mm. which yeah. I can't fly. We've got the ones in the, the lava. Both of them in the water, demon. where I can't swim. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll leave it to you guys to choose them because I'm at a loss either way. Oh. I'm with like fish and I'm crab fish. are pretty even for me. Yeah. You're more fish, are you? I think fish. Oh, that sways the boat yeah. there. And I can at least breathe underwater even if I sink. Right, let's How many? hold my breath at least. Quick question here. Horn... Dweller. Horn man. Horny boy. Horny dweller. Horn folk. Uh, Horny boy. How many people have won and got oh. Dovey Jan's locker? Change it to Dovey Jane's locker. Dovey Jane's, sorry. Okay. Many. Many have bested my titans. Many. Many. We are, are talking now? about a history of hundreds of years, but it is not impossible. It's uncommon. Anyone we know? No. They've all died. You're the first of your generation to come here. Oh my god. How far are we from the edge of this planet? You're in the center of the Atlantic Sea. Are we like, is there like a waterfall edge somewhere? No. Oh. Not how this works. I just yeah. want to make sure he knows. <laughs> <laughs> my... My titans will eat you for dinner. If we do get horny, idiots, with one of these trinkets, yeah, what benefit does it have to us? Yeah. Well, he says Why wouldn't we just walk? He's men mentioning boons. Oh, Who's oh, boon? boon? What's a boon then? What's the best, boon? my titan? It may help if you write these things down. No. Best, my titan, and I'll be rewarded with a boon. Choose a trinket in the next two minutes, or I will sink this ship. I think we're going oh, that's for, a good incentive. We've done some confirming, conferring between each other, and we've okay. gone for the, the fish. The goldfish. The goldfish gold idea. Gold, the little fish. Meon. Meon. Uh, you choose Demon. the the trinket, yeah. which is a tiny glass vial, the shape of a fish, containing yeah, seawater. I'm yeah, shaking the, the lot of seawater yeah. inside. You choose it. Meon, the fish demon. Very well. It's Prepare up. yourself. Pulling it. I will drink? summon Meon. I'm going to drink it. Good luck. Don't drink it. <coughs> it's a sealed vial. Oh. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Whoops. And it is just seawater. Uh, no, you can drink it if you want. You can drink it. There's some seawater in it. Yeah, it's it, disgusting. You spit it out. He wasn't lying. That's seawater. Mm. Uh, and the, um, the keeper of the horn steps back towards the ladder, climbs back down, and climbs back into his boat. 
the uh, the boat turns around and disappears into uh, the, the fog. Moments after the boat disappears into the fog, by the way, the time of day right now is about three o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. You can't see the sun because of how Probably. foggy and overcast it is, um, but uh, there is a grayish white, um, even light throughout this whole place. As the boat disappears into the fog, moments later the fog begins to clear. First you see the surface of a very flat ocean um, part. As, oh, sorry, sorry, the ocean itself does not part. The fog parts to reveal the glassy surface of the ocean. Um, and again, the fog peels away to reveal the horn. <gasps> Whoa, Several is... hundred meters off of the front left of your ship, you've become quite close to what is a very small island. It is um, in part rocky. There are a few small beaches on this tiny island. The island itself is perhaps only half a mile across. Uh, it is circular. Uh, there are several small coves. But what really strikes you is that upon this rocky island is a, a pile, a makeshift structure, if you will, of many, many ships' hulls. Wooden ships, pieces of them litter this island. Hundreds of broken wooden ships of would-be adventurers, would-be uh, combatants who have lost their ships and they've been added to this sort of great pile. There are other elements of, of, of ships that have been brought here by the tides and by the currents and deposited upon the ship, uh, upon the island, sorry. And um, imagine sort of a great, almost uh, a fortified town, if you will, but uh, everything is made up of, of wood and rocks um, and they're piled high. Uh, this is not what I expected. The name of the horn comes from in the center of the island where the, the great pile of ships is, there is a large curve, not unlike a rhinoceros horn of, oh, of ships. I see it now. Yeah, yeah it, now it, that it makes formed, sense. The ship's hulls have been formed into sort of slightly lopsided structure, which looks a little bit like the top side of a half moon or uh, I could say the horn of a rhino's, a rhino's horn. Looks like okay. a horn. <clears throat> there it is. Incredible. You have a few moments of peace of Quiet. Well, is there anything you'd like to do? Anything that you'd like to tell your crew before, uh, you know, uh, uh, you presume the fish demon Mion rears its fishy little fucking head? All right. Dr. Feelgood, first mate, second mate, and captains of the raw dog. Raw I'd dog. like us all to have a final meeting, please. Do we get Kevin on? No, 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 of course not. Of course, of course we don't want Kevin. That. Saying he's down there, he's, we don't really speak to him. Like at, we're at the horn in your mentioning. Group. I haven't seen him in ages. What's he like oh, down there? We're in the mood. Oh. We're at the fault. How's he doing? Oh, I'm pissed car? off. Well, what's happened since I've been gone? What do you mean? Well, I was enslaved for a little short while, and when I went to the I haven't seen Kevin for a bit. I just wonder how, he, how he's been doing. Why do you care about you've him? Have you been so treating much? him well? Well, find him afterwards. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm just saying, because if shit goes down, he's on the ship. You might want to know what's going on. Well, maybe you'll find out. I mean, if these are titans of what I think now, they're pretty big, big boys. What do you think they I are? I thought they're like goldfish. No, they're not they're like, like goldfish. It's, gonna be, it's not going to really be like the little fish. The What's it going to be? It's tiny. Why don't it, it's going to be bigger, isn't it? Why? Well, oh, because it seems, look at the smirk on this guy's face. I thought you just had a... Come on. All right, so how big, okay. Look, we need to put, we need to make sure we got all our, you know. Our best stuff. You know how when we're walking around the, 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 the like uh, gold to file, you know, you have people come up to you and say, hey, you want to get a horn? I thought it was just one of those, but in the sea. Yeah, drug. I, I was, we're why just, why like, we're just appeasing it. him. Seems so odd that we would travel all this way for that, though. Yeah, but he might don't just be working. Yeah. I don't think it's going to yeah, come of anything. Around like the Horn, I, I bet it's a tourist trap, right? You got yeah. all these like right, merchandise tourist peddlers. Trap. Have you seen all those ships? Yeah, look, yeah, it's, it looks it's beautiful. Hell of a structure, Where do you think they come from? They probably built. Well, them. they create the story, but it's kind of like a theme park. I thought that's very odd to think that. We're probably, we just came, we're we've probably just going to sail calmly through this water and go through a little Stop route. Stop the goldfish, we're done. All right, I'm just hey, saying, hey, left, let's be cautious. Off the left of the boat between you, uh, basically on the side of your ship, which I presume is now stopped, really. There's no wind, that, well, not that much wind really to propel you. You will be able to move the ship in combat, mm. but at the moment there's not very much to push you along. So presuming that your ship is currently stopped to allow that keeper on and off. Uh, to the left of the ship in the water, um, perhaps 20 feet, off of uh, the railing, the water begins to swirl and swirl. At first, it starts as a small current moving. 
and then larger and larger Same. still before about 60 feet in diameter, a whirlpool starts to form. Well, that's not good, is it? No, it's like a spinny thing. Kind of want in to see water. it from the, the glass bottom of our ship. Well, you want to go down to the bottom and have a look? look? Well, nice. You see, you see We're going to rush down to the bottom and have a look. Yeah. Right, let's yeah. go down there. Let's go down there and have a look. We're going to have a look wow. into the ocean through our glass bottom floor. Oh, nice. Good idea. Um, so you're both down, you're all downstairs. Yep. We've all rushed down to the bottom to see. You Not now, Kevin! You can't see much. There are what looks like, um, it's very quickly shelves um, from this island. This island is, is, is a, an unusual outcropping. Beneath you is very deep, deep ocean still. This um, is unusual, this island, because it, yeah, it seems to erupt out of nowhere. Um, beneath you, you see large fauna, nothing huge. Um, you know, a few large fish, things like that, swim beneath you, but nothing at the moment. You think, uh, you, you can see a little bit of uh, the structure of the edge of the island. So if you imagine the island is coming up from the sea floor, there is a very uh, dramatic shelf that happens, as in the, the, the ground falls away to open ocean. But on the edge of the rocks and things like that that form the island, under the water you can see very large crabs one thing. Everything here seems very large. It's almost a sort of mega fauna that's formed because of such rich waters here. But you do not see signs of anything dangerous yet. This could be like one of the features of the horn, you know? They have these nice, like some places have fountains on display, mm. that sort of oh, thing. Right, yeah. I guess this place has whirlpools, yeah. They've probably got some, yeah, wizard down there just working like, yeah. oh shit, come on, spin up the water. Spin up the whirlpool. Do you guys think it's like a theme park? Yeah. We said this, yeah. yeah. Like, look how nice everything looks. Oh, Did yeah. you see the skeletons? Yeah, As you're talking, good, realistic, right? a large yeah. shadow, larger than your ship, sweeps beneath you. Wait, you see that? What was that? Oh my god! Do we need 3D glasses? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think we might do. Are there 4D effects here? We're going to get splashed, or? Oh, hopefully not. Through the glass. We've got not, splash yeah. proof glass. Well, uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the effects are. I've not been to a theme park. You guys are idiots. We're uh, gonna die. Come on. Should we just try and like, you know, get onto the, that landy bit? From up on top. Oh, let's have a look. On the top deck, you hear a cry. Whoa! Who's there? You hear a splash. Who was there? You go Quickly to the top yeah, deck. I'm running up. Up to the top deck, Hans Mandy's there, hands on his bucket. What happened? Looking Hans around. Mandy? What? It's Bongo! What? Yeah. He fell over the side! He fell over he the side. He woke up, he lost it! What? He said he couldn't take the pressure anymore and he threw himself oh, into the whirlpool. No. Oh, where's what? Into where, the whirlpool. Where is he? He threw himself in and he said he wanted to end it really slowly with drowning. But where is Andy? he? Andy! That's terrible. Where is he? Uh, you look over the edge and you see a dwarf just going round no. and round in this whirlpool. Bongo! Can we and get he begins him? to increase in strength. I'll get you, Bongo! How do we save him? What Can you, you levitate him out or something? Maybe. He's quite far away. I just feel like... Can I levitate and then, he spins and spins oh, and spins and spins, and spins oh, before, before he goes to the center. I'm going to run and jump yep. in. <laughs> You're jumping in. I'm jumping in. Fuck. You jump in. Yeah, to get him. Why? Do you jump into the whirlpool? Uh, wherever he is, yeah. He's in the whirlpool. Yeah, I jump in that. I'm getting you. Oh, we could be heroes for one day because that's okay. how long we're going to last. <laughs> you sploosh into this whirlpool that's now about 30 feet wide. Ooh. Give me a DC, uh, give me a strength check, sorry. Okay. By your reaction, I feel like I shouldn't have done this. But, uh, <laughs> I just, you just jumped into a whirlpool that swallowed a man. It's all cool. It only requires a DC 18 strength check to get out of. I strength, hope you're a strong boy. Strength check is plus two. Plus two. What did you roll? An eight. Plus Swim! Kapifi <laughs> is swim. immediately in trouble. He hits the surface of the water. <laughs> you don't make me use a spell here! Uh, you are now restrained. A strange creature's speed becomes zero. You can't benefit from any bonus to your speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Bloody melon. You right. could use your inspiration to re-roll that I if don't you really know. want, but you don't necessarily have to use it. I I'm, going... I'm not trying to advise you either way. This is a good I'm time just for... Yeah, I think I'm just I reminding you of a future. I, I forgot it was there, so I would like to use it at this Give it a go. Oh, you, oh, your inspiration. Yeah. Would you like me to polymorphous a fish? <laughs> That's a three. That was a three. You're still stuck in there. I've got this. Don't worry. Yeah. Whoa! Well, Roll initiative. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Do I roll initiative? Because I'm like... You feel something touch your feet. <laughs> that 20. Oh. Nat 20. Nat 20. You best think of what you're going to do. Because you're going to be first. Boy. You, you should probably roll initiative just so we know. When yeah, definitely roll initiative. Oh god, what's happened on my rolls today? That was a one. You spent them all before the stream. Do you have a bonus for initiative <laughs> or not? Oh yeah. Plus three. So that's four. Nice. Thought? Fourteen. Yep. What I'm gonna do is cast a spell called Mage Hand, which is a hand that's like mm. the size of a hand. And I'm gonna slap you around the face. Okay. For your idiocy. <laughs> and allow you to drown. I was trying to save our friends. <laughs> Seemingly the main threat at the moment is the fact that um, Bongo has slipped be beneath the surface. He reached the center of the, the whirlpool, even though Kapipi tried to um, heroically save him. He reached the center and whoa, 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 and he just plops down the middle of the whirlpool and disappears. Kapipi is now circling whoa. the outside of the whirlpool, being carried around by its strong currents. The whirlpool is about 30 feet and it's about 20 to 30 feet away from the left-hand side of your ship. Uh, so Kapipi's probably about 30 to 40 feet away. You're gonna okay. need to jump in after me! He's spinning around and he doesn't seem to be able to escape the strength of the current. I think he lost his mind. He knows he can't swim, but he jumped right in. What a man. What do we do? Just leave him so his wasted mind can die happily? No! Or do we save him? We tried to save you. You did not. No, we didn't. But we you thought about it. You did not try to save me. Kapipi tried to save you. He tried to drop that uh, Iron Maiden in. Yeah, well, I don't know that. No, you don't know that. He hasn't told you that either. Look, I'm just saying, he jumped in there recklessly. I don't want to die because of his reckless We actions. can't what kill the fish without him. All right, let's levitate him up or polymorph him into a fish. Things are looking sticky for Mickey. Your choice. I, know, I feel like polymorph I'm not him a wizard. be an hour of kind of whatever he is. And then he'll... I don't want to deal with that. I don't think polymorphing is the best idea. Um, what about, like, I can make him walk on water. I'm getting closer to the middle! I don't know if water Whoa. walking works with this kind of Whoa. Whoa. Can you keep it to one word per cycle, please? Yeah, yeah. We can't hear you on the other side. Um. Um. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Titus, it's your go first. I do a walk on water spell for him. Uh, well, don't I mean, I don't know how that works with a swirling whirlpool. I well, guess what's this, uh, the, let me just, well, what's the details of the spell? Can you cast that on another person? Uh, and what's the distance you can cast it at? So, there's 30 feet. I yep. don't know where I am now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 30 thing. feet. The spell grants the ability to move across any liquid surface. Uh, if you target a creature submerged in liquid, yep. the spell carries the target to the surface of a liquid at a rate of 60 feet per, per round. Oh, yeah. So, pushing um, to the top. Such as water, acid, mud, snow, quicksand, or lava. Yep, this as works. If it were harmless, solid ground. Before you, you can that, cast it on Kapipi. Up to ten willing creatures you can see within oh. range gain this ability for the duration. Why not cast it on everyone? I'm going to give us all water walking. Let's walk on water. What do you have to do to do it? Is there a hit or is there a I'm roll? Just spin here. Just My point, two big toes have got slightly all larger. Our, all of our feet. Oh. You've got armbands for toes now. Got armbands for toes. <laughs> Flappy fish, flappy feet, flappy feet onto the water. You're gonna get pushed to the surface. Flappy feet, flappy feet oh, on the water, flappy feet on the water. I'm running Is it, on it, you just cast it? What's, what do you have to do and for that? And then I just... No, just it's willing a, creatures in the 30 foot range. Yeah, and it'll, yeah. the duration of an hour. Yeah, it lasts an hour. So we can just be on the water for an hour. As long <laughs> no as you, drowning for us. Is no. Bongo still in range? It's not even concentration, it just No, I can just do thing. it. It's, a, it's an incredible spell. Seems Let good. us walk on water! I assume Bongo's gone. Which otherwise would be insane to do. Yeah, did, I'm pressing did, the button. Did Bongo get caught up in this or is he gone? Is Bongo gone? Bongo! I, see, I need to see him. You can't see him. No. Walk on water. Rip in peace. Press the button. Bongo. You can walk now! Have faith! Can I start? Titus, <laughs> you begin to move to... Sorry, not Titus. Uh, Kabibi, you feel suddenly buoyant. Oh. You surface. Is, is this what swimming is? <laughs> I can no, swim! Not at all! I've discovered how to swim! Stupid turtle man! <laughs> is it <laughs> God! This is God speaking! Hello. I want to you take a moment. Exist. This Try. is all is a for a demon for a turtle, you're fucking stupid. Um and it got out! Um, peace! <laughs> peace! No, it's uh, Kabibi, you, you come to the surface and you can now walk on water. Look at that. Look at this, guys. Yeah. Look what I can do. Great one. <laughs> I wish I didn't have to do it, though. You shouldn't have jumped. He's gone. I can, let me just come back to the ship and I'm going to explain one thing to you. 
Can All I make right. it? Can I make it back to the ship in this? Back. It's not your turn, but in your turn you'll be able to move. Yep. Okay. Um, sword, you'll go. I'm going to test the walking on water thing. You're jumping on. Wow. Well, wait, not what are jumping. We we're in fight mode. Right? What are we fighting? <laughs> huh? Can I have a little glance over the side and see if there's anything stirring in the water other than a huge whirlpool? Like, can I see Bongo? Any sort of Bongo's gone. Sight of Give me a bongo. perception check for Bongo. Nine plus perception, which is plus nothing. No, you can't see Bongo, unfortunately. You may, you see one of his, you see his tankard floating on the surface. However, oh, it's made oh. its way outside the current, and his wooden tankard is bobbing on the surface. It's like if your shoes come off. Yeah, and dead. You know it N narratively. If you lose a lantern. Yeah. You're you're like, oh, that's his favorite drinking cup. <sighs> Bongo. Looks he's like it was so the drink that killed him all in the end. We couldn't help him. I tried to make him stop. Kapipi, get up here. I'll get up if I if it's my. Six guess. seconds, remember. Kapi could people get up here? That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do it? Do you want to take no, the action? No, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to hold. Mm -hmm. If anything comes out of the water, mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot it with my musket. Nice. Your musket is ready. Um, and we're going to presume you keep it there. Anything that comes out of the water. Anything at all. OK, cool. I'm right. shooting. You're going to blast it. OK, anything else? You good? That's me. <laughs> From out from beneath the whirlpool, as Kapipi just makes it outside the current, centered on the whirlpool, a whale-like breach happens. You know how you oh. see like um, whales breaching out with their mouths from underneath the ocean? Oh, a God. huge demon fish. Oh, it was a demon fish. Breaches out Shit. from underneath the whirlpool. And just as these, its jaws, it's similar to an angler fish in its appearance. Oh, it's got like a jut jaw. Massive mouth with jagged teeth can be seen. It's got these terrifying soulless eyes, like a doll's <laughs> eyes. Um, it comes up, breaches out of the water. Its skin is a mottled brown and orange <laughs> with strange lumps and, and, and tendrils and, and little whiskers adorning its head and chin. Its mouth is almost the size, let's say it's the size of the whirlpool itself, about 30 feet across. Wow. Just as its mouth comes up through the surface of the water and closes, you see Bongo. Oh, no, boys, I'm being able. <laughs> oh, there he is! And the jaw oh, closed. My God, what a <sighs> dream that must feel like. Can I shoot at? <gasps> we'll get him out later. You can Give shoot me out. at the target. <laughs> Get me out! You're on the surface of the water. You're fine. You'll be fine down there. He just, just avoid the, the surface of the dead. I can't, I can't explain all this in the time. Twenty-three. Uh, Twenty-two. Sorry. Nice. Uh, yeah, that hits. Twelve points of musket damage. Is that with the plus ten that we decided a little while back for balancing? Twenty-two points yep. of musket wow, damage. Okay, cool. That's pretty good. Uh, very good. I really pumped this one full of gunpowder. What are you aiming for on the fish? Just anything you can hit. Just like, I, oh, fuck! I just reflexively <laughs> shot yeah. at it. Okay. So, whatever. Right. It pops one of the little tiny little like weird bulbous things on the surface of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just like, God damn it. Ooh. Oh, that limpet? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it just popped off a giant That's limpet. Gross as hell. Boom! He opens up with a tidal wave! Not only has he cast his uh, great um, whirlpool, which is what he lures his beast, uh, his prey in with, he casts Tidal Wave at your ship. Uh, you've seen this before from Titus. Uh, it's uh, 10 feet wide and up to 10 feet tall. No. Goodness. It attempts to smash into the side of your ship. No. Each creature, that's you three, must make a what dexterity creatures? saving throw. Oh, shit. Yep. You've used your inspiration now. <laughs> Have I we could use it if we would really mess it up. Hey, you got. There's two on that. Oh, don't even it? need it. It's this one. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh, it does. Okay, nice. I can't read it from here. Oh, 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 oh 20. twenty. Another twenty. <laughs> Bong. Pressure's on me. Don't Get fuck smashed. this up, PP. So I'm still in the Get water, at the moment, right? Just outside of the whirlpool. Yeah, you got pushed to the surface, and you can yeah. walk on it. Come on, be the end of my low rolls. I'm assuming it's, it acts mm. like a concrete surf. What, what was this one? Dexterity. What, the save you have to make? 17. Yeah. Plus five. Ooh, no, wow. was it dexterity, was it? Dex, yep. That's only plus one, right? No, you got dex saving throws, so it's that one. Ah, there. okay. That's a 12. You fail. 
<laughs> it was quite high, like 17, Jesus. It was pretty high. But I got 18, so. You succeed? Natural 20. You succeed? 21. Oh dear. Bad Sword. day for Kapipi. Caesar's coming after taking a shot. He notices the creature trying to turn. Mm. He dives out the way and uh, avoids all damage. You take eight damage. Oh. You take 17 damage. This but a scratch. <laughs> a really big, deep, a big, deep mortally scratch, wounding actually. scratch. <laughs> Kapipi, it's your go. Okay. I just want to explain a little bit about Kapipi's thought process, why he jumped in. Because yeah, please do. Do you remember earlier, um, Sword made Kapipi feel awful for not realizing that he could have helped mm-hmm. Titus by jumping in. So development. The, exactly. So the moment it happened again, he thought to himself, I'm not going to waste a second and just jump in. And, and because his intelligence isn't very high, <laughs> he didn't really <laughs> think that. things through. He just acted on impulse for once and just jumped in. That's why he did it. A true role player's choice. There you go. So yeah. I was explain that. Good uh, job. So where am I now? I'm. Am I alongside the ship at all? Am I near it? Am I uh, basically? I want to use this my. I want to use my action. Here. You are on the edge of the whirlpool. You've avoided the damage. You um, you got caught by that tidal wave. As so, you're between Seven. the fish and the ship at this point. So I want to use I my action make. to get as as hopefully out of the water onto the ship or as close to as I can if that you'll let me move. Basically. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you could yet. use your action to dash and climb up the side of the ship and into the ship if you want. That's what I'll do then. Okay. Yep. Uh, just, I'm just quickly checking about uh, attacks of opportunity. But I'm going to say that you managed to um, being carried by the wave. Um, it knocks you forward, oh, but you can walk on water. On. So you're so sort of like, this is wave. a weird effect. This is, kind of feels like I'm you're being surfing. carried by a crowd. Yeah, exactly. Um, God, this is and what it crowd takes you it must be like. up to the edge of the ship, One day. and you climb up and over the gunnels of the ship. Uh, you see Kapipi <sighs> climb over. There's nothing I could have done for Bongo. That's He's still alive! <laughs> he might still be alive, you're not sure. He's in the jaws of the thingy. He's gone. That's all I can say. <laughs> He's gone. Excellent, right. I'm just uh, very shook. All right, I moved on. Titus, your go. Is it out of the water? Is it floating? Or is it kind of like head out of water? Um, it is, no, it's, like, uh, it's on the surface. All so right. you can see it, you can target it. It's a large okay. creature. So the creature itself, well, no, it's not large. It's a huge, gargantuan creature. Um, it is... Probably bigger than your ship in, in most ways. So you imagine Whoa. the ship, it's a little bit bigger than that in most dimensions. It's the normal shape of a fish with a large head and mouth. Okay, I'm going to shock it with a lightning bolt. I will fire at you the power of a million lightnings. Electricity <laughs> from the sky will curse you into pain and suffering. Okay. Um, it's actually vulnerable to lightning. Well, this is great. I news. shit you not. That's fantastic news because I'm going to cast that spell at a level four. Yeah. Which means very high. Nine d six, which would be lovely if it works out. And I think a vulnerable creature takes—is it double damage? Yes. Oh. So whatever you roll here, double it. A lightning bolt strike you from the sky. Twenty-six on this. So that's forty, fifty-two damage. Make that. Fucking hell. That's insane. Take this! <laughs> it, hurts, it hurts him as much as it hurts Every them. Every time! Everybody yeah, else, a, a bright fucking blinding light flashes as a huge lightning bolt emanates from Titus, arcing across the gap between the boat and the enemy fish. Um, it illuminates the fish. You see its bone structure momentarily in a hilarious <laughs> X-ray style effect. <laughs> Whoa! Inside cool. its body, you see the skeleton of um, oh. a bongo, bongo no. who is shocked to death yeah. by this. You, you know. Oh no, you killed it. You don't know it was me. <laughs> you don't know. Titus knowing. He'll be okay. Titus being an intelligent wizard and understanding his spells, being able to anticipate the effects of his spells is not so easily blinded. You two. It's just a bright flash. You don't really see the details. Titus, you're fairly sure you saw the skeleton of a dwarf oh. inside the stomach of it. Fuck, I'm That twitched and then went limp. Yeah, I think he's, he was dead before it's a I struck it. It's now a turducken. It's a dwarf inside a fish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a, a, dw- a dwarf fish. Yeah. Not as fun and to enlarging say. Enlarging him would do nothing <laughs> against such a large beast. It would be merely a larger fish to that swallow. That is a great bit of damage. Holy wow, shit. Wow, so 52, is it? Yep. Oof. Yikes. Wow. Oopsie. Big one. <laughs> you, know, was, you, you think you smell roasting dwarf oh my in goodness. fish? I wouldn't know what that smells like. Smells like the fish is off. 
Sword, you'll go. Sword is going to... It looks like it's vulnerable to lightning. What would make you think such a thing? I'm going to go up into the crow's nest. Mm. Is that going to be my entire movement, or am I going to need to dash to get up there? No, nah, you, can, you, you can do it with your movement. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because also, don't you have like some ability to like walk up the side of the mast? I've got a spider climb, but it will cost me a... Um, Oh, that's a spell. a spell. Right. Now, yeah, I'm, you can still do it. You, okay. you're, you're experienced in doing this. You fly up the mast. Fly up the mast. I look out on the top, assess where the fish is. You see the fish. It's fucking huge. Don't it feel good? Yes, sir! Ready, cannons? On the okay, you sons of bitches! I'll tell my time with you, stupid sons of bitches! And he starts just berating them, and they're like just so, they're like inanimate objects. It doesn't make any sense, but he really. It's good for him. He goes along each one and picks out something personal about each of the automatons and really tries to emotionally insult them. On my mark! Yeah. Fire the cannons! And I'm going to use my action to uh, do this, basically. Okay, yeah. Command the automatons to ready the cannons. Yep. Um, so automatons we... before ready to fire, sir, you're on your command! Yeah. That's you want to fire? Oh, if we can. You can fire. I'll let you fire it. Yeah, because I mean, you're not using any of your abilities. Um, All right, yeah, I'll tell them to fire. They're ready and loaded because they were prepared for battle. Bang, 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 bang. Um, I need to quickly check. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. That's, that's it. They fire off the four barrels of each of... Uh, there's, there's three cannons on this side of the ship. Each have four barrels firing a golf ball-sized projectile. Uh, and I believe they do 40, yeah, they 10 get, oh, times another three. One. Uh, last one, could you do it? Thank you. <laughs> Who the hell was that? He, he starts berating the automaton that, that fucked that up. Not the best rolls. Uh, the cannons do 14 damage each off wow. of a possible 4d10 each. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jesus. So wow. uh, I'm going to show size times. projectiles. 30, 4, 6, 12. 40 dam 42 damage thereabouts. Uh, still, still a great thing, but like it could have done a lot more. Um, oh, right, I see. You hear a moan from this giant fish demon, it's and so rattle run in your head. <laughs> it's in its death throes. <laughs> in your head, sword, you Hello. feel a presence weighed into your mind. Get out of my head! <laughs> there is no way you can possibly stop such a a gargantuan presence. You I'm hear. More, I'm terrified. Okay. You hear an abyssal. Even though you don't speak, what? Do you speak abyssal? It's not required. Ooh, do do I I double check. Have I might, because I, might, cause I am a hobgoblin. Not that I'm stereotyped or anything. I, I don't think I can. It doesn't matter. You can still understand it for this instance. Oh, okay. Of the way I can it understand it. Then. Okay. Yeah. So you understand it. Yo, think you can best me? Gah, so it's right in my brain. <laughs> You tickle me with the balls you throw at me, tiny gob goblin. Your scar is glowing. I smirk a little bit <laughs> at the tickling ball things. <laughs> you smirk at the tickling he balls. He said tickling balls. It's quite funny. <laughs> well, Can you find this funny? I'll enjoy eating you just like I enjoyed eating that dwarf. I'd like to see you try, you asshole. And then <laughs> you hear this deep rumble again. I do shit myself, but I try and hide the fact that I do that. Okay, there's a horrific <laughs> shriek. I'm in the crow's nest, so. And a flash of light. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to waft its way. Titus, give me a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Oh. Titus Look at your or... wisdom saving throw flat. Um, yeah, he's not tar targeting, so he's targeting Titus. What's my saving throw, is it this one? Ooh, that's four, that sounds like an 18 to me. You, you feel after you hear this cry, it feels this something. something tries to invade your mind. You, f you, you understand this feeling. For a moment, you sympathize with this fish. You're a being of the deep yourself, and you understand the trials, tribulations, and in a way, a deep-seated hate of the land lovers, the land dwellers. However, you shake off this hatred, <clears throat> and you're okay. Get out of my head. You're not near me. Get away! <sighs> okay, right. Evil thoughts. Be gone. The fish, failing to gain control of Titus's mind. I'm fine now. Swims <laughs> towards your ship. Oh, bugger. Oh, he's coming closer. Oh, I'm, still, I'm still on this fucker. 
A wave of thunderous force emanates out from in front of the ship. A deep cry. That wasn't me! <laughs> rocks. It doesn't actually hit sword because you're too far away, but over the deck comes what feels like a weather front. A forceful wind, but one that gusts and buffets you hard. Um, give me a constitution saving throw. Kapipi and Titus. 12. You say constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, 18. Kapipi, you succeed. Titus, you fail. Uh, Kapipi, you take 10 damage. Titus, you take 20. Oh, good lord. Jesus Christ. See, in this, you'd need to take less damage. You think so? Yeah, that's the aim to win. I was it's... trying to... Oh, right. Oh, see, I've just been racking up damage. Oh, no, no, no. Right. Yeah, it's not about that. Less. I took 20 damage. It's a big Less, it's a big ideally. One. Considering it's a wind blast. You hear a chittering. Huh. I'm Come being on. infested! The sound of claws and feet and hardened legs scraping on the hull beneath you. Bloody hell. Over the gunnels of the ship begin to crawl several giant crabs. Ah, oh, the crabs! I thought that we never did want to fight these The demon fish disappears beneath the surface. Oh, no. It's dark shadow disappearing under the hull. It's out of sight for now. The crabs step out onto the deck. The PP in front of you are three giant crabs. Oh, why are the plan for the other They thing? head towards you. And they decided to try and take a bite out of Kapipi's tasty little turtle ass. Feel oh, that tail? Yeah. Ooh, oh no, 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 no. Okay. That's what you hear in your mind. They want to eat you, Kapipi. Baby. Mm -hmm. The giant Rifle. crab nearest you. Peepee. <laughs> Peepee. Mm hmm. Giant crab tries to take a claw bite out of you. No, please. I he rolls eating. a 12. Oh. Does it hit? Armor class. Yep. No, 17. Snaps you. Its claw scrapes off of your shell. Shell. You took a bite. Did I take the damage from that? Nah, actually, sorry. I need to do the turn of the other crab. Another crab doesn't do anything. All the crabs climb up onto the side. That's the turn of that crab. So two crabs had turns there. Pee pee. Now it's your turn. Go. The fish is currently dived below the water, but that's a really good interpretation sorry, of what the fish looks like. He's, he said that it was off the left side of the ship. That's the mm -hmm. right. Oh, no. oh yeah, that's true. You are the ship is pointing the way, but it doesn't Dr fucking matter. No, you spun the ship round. The ship has drifted, <laughs> okay. and now you're fighting on the right we, hand we've side. We've gone round, but yeah. on it, it's still. However, works. the cannons are expanded on this side, so you can't be like, "Oh, we've got another salvo." You haven't. Let's right. pretend. Right. Retconned yeah. because of the bad drawing. I... <laughs> <laughs> that's no. really good. Uh, so there's three Clippy boys coming. Now I'm yep. scared to use this spell ever since I last got berated for it. Um, can I cast sleep on That's this? That's what I want to do. As, as a DM, I want to scare my players into not using their abilities. Right. First of all, just because this can this can target many creatures at once. Yep. Is a uh, sleep. It sends creatures into a magical slumber. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know how this works. Creatures within a 20 foot feet range of me. Yep. Uh, are affected in ascending order of their current hit points. I okay. That was it. Yep. It might still be. You right. want to try and use it? Yes, please. What are you going to cast no. it on? The one that's just tried to attack you? The one on the middle by the mast? Rear, rear, rear. Yeah, they're going to get yeah. the closest oh, one to me. You're ducking, you're diving, you're diving. Oh, shit, it's flying! Yeah, yeah. It's a flying crab! <laughs> yeah, the closest Not. one to me, but are the others within the 20 foot range as well? Uh, yeah, one of them is. They're, sorry, two of them are. So the one right in front of you, the one under the mast, I'll say are in range of the sleep okay, spell. Okay, so they're both I'll say get... Titus, just for ease of purpose, is outside of the range of your sleep spell. Okay, I'm going to cast it. At... As his sword up on the top. Do you need to wisdom save this? No. I just roll it, right? So I'm going to roll it at level 4 as well, which means I get an extra... Roll an additional 2d8 for every slot level above first. Hey, why not roll it at a third instead? Okay. Don't waste one of your fourth level spell slots for this. <laughs> These crabs, you can tell, aren't overly meaty. 45. Okay. Um, how many... Work. This time... To... Yes. Both the crabs fall asleep. Woohoo! Look at that, they're sleepy boys now. <laughs> we should cook them and eat them. <laughs> no? Okay, Kapipi, you managed to put two of the, the, the uh, crabs to sleep. Woohoo! Great, until, <laughs> oh, you know, baby. next turn, until... What are you anticipating doing with the sleeping crabs? Well, they're just not going to attack us while they're there. These guys can sort them out. Okay, right. Anything else you need to do? No. Right, the next crab, attacking Titus. Titus, he's coming Get for back, you. you. He's coming for that fucking booty. No. 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 I don't want this. He rolls a nine. Does that hit? No. No, it doesn't. He snips at you. Get away. You, you, ah. you jump back. Ah. 
Titus, ahead. it's your go. Well, to burn acid arrow your way, greasy little bugger. You I'm going to acid? acid arrow you with this. It's right on you, and it's a ranged spell attack. You're going to be rolling at disadvantage. Oh, right, so it's burning hands. Like, touch, or like burning hands, I think. I do have do burning it. hands, actually. Yes. Yeah, burning hands is. Yeah. Every way you have to, like, aim. Just, you're too close! Burning hands instead! Okay, I'll cast that one. That's a. Such a smart I'll do a third wizard. level. Oh. And that's 5d6. Mm -hmm. Let's fire that. And we've got a 16 damage. Hey, guess what you're eating tonight? Grill cramp. <laughs> uh, oh, it's cooking well, guys! You cooked him up. You smell it? He cooks in his Ooh, shell. Oh boy! That, that crab is ready to go. That's that you could eat that crab right now. A bit That's, of butter. Mm. But like you, you you've incinerated the crab. I put a bib on. Okay, right. Is that the I'm rest? gonna have a mid a mid battle. <laughs> yeah. It's feast. got a little, it, it's white with a red like crab on it. Um you, <laughs> oh, God. it's a branded turtle bay. Um, yeah. like like bib. Yeah. Yeah, it's branded, yeah. Yeah. Turtle bay, he's got his face on. I, 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 I didn't know we were allowed to take those. No, I took it anyway. Oh. Okay, yeah, Titus easily dispatches that crab, mm. Um, mm. and it slumps down, the giant crab slumps down on the front of the deck. Did cooked. I get a bite of it? Did that increase my health? <laughs> it's like picking up a turkey off them. You quickly <laughs> snatch. One up. You snatch a leg. <laughs> you get two HP back. Yes! <laughs> Ridiculous. You gamified food. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it. Sword, you'll go. Mmm. You see, down from your crow's nest, Titus quickly incinerate a crab. Right, so we've got a dead crab now and two sleeping crabs, yeah. and that's Very the hot. only threat that's immediately on us. Currently right now, the yeah. fish is under submerged. The fish is, you can't see the fish right now. It's okay. uh, dived down out of the way. Pretty good position. I'm going to flick back my musket, mm -hmm. so it looks cool, uh, and use my hands to conjure a flaming sphere, okay. which is a five foot sphere, mm -hmm. so I'm like <laughs> And I throw it down on the crab directly below that's asleep. Okay. Uh, that's in front of Kapipi. I want more of that crab! I'm gonna burn it. So, anytime a creature ends its turn within five feet of the sphere, yep. um, it makes a deck saving throw, it is asleep. It's automatically gonna fail. Going to fail. Mm -hmm. So a creature takes 2d6 on its failed save, or half on a success. And as a bonus action, I can move this sphere as well. Okay. So I'm basically gonna pinball it yep. from this crab to the other crab. So roll your first 2d6. Sure. And then you can roll another 2d6 for the other, so you can grab. Nine. Okay. First, first crab takes a nine damage. They've woken up. <laughs> Burning alive. Okay. Sorry. Four for the second one. It's really hard to tell if a crab's asleep. They've got very tiny eyes. <laughs> I think they're just not moving. I'm not sure. I hope mine was dead. I've eaten it already. What? <laughs> How'd it go? There's still more left. He looks uh, a bit toasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So the one you initially hit uh, looks pretty toasted, but it's it's. Oh, he's snapping! Fuck! <laughs> um, I swear I heard a fuck. <laughs> it's hard to tell. You see, how much did you do to the other one? Some of the system. Four, meat. just four. Four damage. Okay. You burnt one of its tiny eyes. The other one is pissed. It fell asleep, and even more pissed that it woke up being consumed by a fiery orb. Uh, the one that is pissed and not so hurt moves out of the orb now, because you've moved, right? And it moves towards Kapeep. And he's like, treat me sleepy. <laughs> he's pissed at that. He's so pissed at being sleepy. He was so game for this fight. And he makes a clippy cluffy claw. Die! Roll the five! Fucking misses! <laughs> <Okay. laughs> That's so terrible. Right? The crabs are shit, I will say. Like, the crabs were meant to be like a reasonable challenge, but you guys are just like annihilating them. But it's fair. Like, you know, I I looked at I looked at what it said the <coughs> challenge rating was in the in the encounter builder and it said the deadly. And I was like, well that'll be enough. Not to three heroes. Not to three Not heroes. To three. Just for one day. Just, just for one day. Huh? Uh, right, so it it misses, yeah, yeah. Right. Ooh, you hear a familiar sound of a giant fucking fish coming up the surface. Uh-oh. Yes, yes, who's back? <laughs> <laughs> not that, not that one. More like this. What what dolphins! That? It's a port! Oh, hello. Where's it breaching from? It's breaching my ass! <laughs> um, I'm gonna need some it help. It bursts up in the same position it disappeared. Back there again. Oh. 
in your minds, you all hear. You met my friends. You ate one of them. Who said that? I didn't kill the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Wait, you a horrific the shriek. <laughs> a bit like what that, the dolphin one. You hear a horrific shriek. Oh my god, it's terrifying! And a flash of light as the lure upon the head of this fish. Oh, it has a lure, it doesn't. Flashes. Each of you make a charisma saving throw. 16 for me. What was up, my you god? Succeed. Oh god, I definitely fail. I rolled a two. I'm gonna inspiration that one. Oh, good, okay. I'm plus eight, that's good. 11, because I rolled a three. Fail. Five. With a minus two, that's three. So, what I'm gonna peep, you both take 20 damage. Oh, what? Oh. No. Is it oh, like is that less than brain damage? Not yeah. like psychic damage. <laughs> yes, it's brain damage. It's brain damage. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you feel oh, well, the flash of the um, was lure. That, was that 20? 20 damage. You feel the need, the, the sudden will or urge to jump over the side and into the mouth of the beast. I'd rather die! <laughs> But you resist, <laughs> and, and in resisting this, it causes psychic pain, which is the 20 damage you both take. <laughs> I'm really lucky I didn't You'll join that. me in the deep soon, says the giant fucking fish. I'm losing hope. Can I use a level five? The people, your go. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means I've only got one slot, and I'm not sure if I should waste it now or save it for later, I don't know. Save the celebrations for later, then we'll fill your slots. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's real psycho damage to you. I'd never try something that damages it or something that harms it. Uh, I don't Do know what? how much... Well, you're not going to talk your way out of this problem. I may suggest doing some fucking damage, bud. Thanks. Okay. Synaptic static. At level five. Oh, ho, ho. I choose you, fish. Uh, to, uh, a creature with an intelligence score of two or lower can't be affected. I assume it's higher than that. It is, yeah. Uh, and it takes eight d6 uh, of psychic damage on a failed save. So you need to make uh, an int 60, intelligence 16 saving throw. Oh, it fails. Mm. Okay, after failed save, the target has muddled thoughts for one minute. During that time... What's it thinking of? It's more muddled! Like During that time... Muddled. Ooh, I don't know what I want anymore! A dog is my mummy! Oh wait, so I need to... Um... <laughs> what? It's muddled, it's confused. <laughs> it thinks a dog is its mummy. Yes! It understands the concept of a dog, <laughs> and it's confused it's by confused that. It's confused about what it is, what's a dog? Wait a minute, oh, a dog so, okay, mummy. while it's muddled, <laughs> yeah. it takes a d6 and subtracts it away from all of its attack rolls and ability checks. Wow, that's cool. Um, but you also need to take uh, 8d6 psychic damage on a fail save, which is what you just did. So, let me quickly Roll your damage. I can just click it this time. You? 26 damage. Oh, nice. 26 damage. But, in true, if people gets accidentally fucked by the monsters I choose a uh, fashion, this fish has resistance to psychic damage. So it takes half. Oh, don't worry, What compete. was the damage? 26 to 13. 26 to 13. It takes 13, 13, yeah. 13. Takes 13 damage. And, uh, and he's going to have a, a, Damn it. a nerf to all his rolls. It does. That is good. That's that, good, that is, that's that good being muddled is good. And it thinks a dog is its mummy. So, um, <laughs> idiot. Suck. Good job. <laughs> Need really to do anything confused. else? Um, yes. So I can bonus action, can't I? Let me do Bardic. Uh, or is it Mantle of Inspiration? What was a good one? Uh, the mantle, I think, is a better one. Mantle of Inspiration. Uh, one of my Bardic Inspiration slots, I'll click that. So I grant eight temporary hit points to us three, basically. Ooh. It's up to four creatures of my choosing. Yep. All right, I might as well do yep. so Mandy as well. Health. Temporary, okay. though. So yeah, he's not in this. Next to it, yeah. Like, Just really, eight. Us three, eight. 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 Yeah, for all intents and purposes, Hans Mandy is not fighting for right. you. Eight temporary. Thank you. You're welcome. I so need and you're aware, that. if you wanted to do another volley, sorry to cut you off very quickly, if you wanted oh. to do another volley with the cannons, you're going to have to use your turn to get them to reload. Gotcha. Uh, Oof, sorry, what are you saying, KPP? Uh, it's just going to be My like... My turn a, or an action? An action. It was just going to be a mini chant to give these guys the help. Good. Really <laughs> okay. Go on, go for it. Do it. 
Hey, we got this. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're not inspired by that. <laughs> it sounded like you had something prepared. <laughs> I, I didn't. It. I was, it's one of those things where I start. What does the inspiration come to me by then? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got this. Kapibi says, guys, just take a minute, collect your thoughts. Not a whole minute. Six you got seconds. This. Take take a few seconds. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in us. That crab's not dead. Let's get it. <laughs> nice. You all get eight temporary hit points. Add Boom. those in now. What, on top of that? Or? No, yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah and um, also, Kapipi tells you that he thinks that he may have made the demon fish believe that a dog is its mummy. Okay. He thinks a dog is his mummy now. What are you talking about? That sounds insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a bizarre it's, concept. It's a too. weird scenario. Um, very good. Anyway, Next that, up. That was a busy six seconds. You go. Titus, your go. In front of you, you have um, a couple of cramps still. Uh, you've also me, got the fish now there, um, who is thinking about its mum, as you can see in the drawing, if you're watching this. It is, yeah. It's thinking about its dog and whether it's a mum or not. I need to hit it with another lightning bolt. It was good last time. I'm going to strike it once more with the lightning from the skies. Nice. The Fiery demon sky devils. As you summon the arcane power, clouds gather above you. Although the lightning emanates from you, it seems that the static energy you're generating is creating almost an overcast effect localized in your area. Well, it's time to hit you with 26 plus double because it's fucked by 52 that. again. 52! 52 more damage! Close your eyes! It's bright! You're I seeing... should have said that before! <laughs> it's too late! Of the three of you, you're seeing a true hero emerge from this fight. You've not seen arcane power like this. We're all contributing! You're all <laughs> contributing. <laughs> but God, he's powerful! <laughs> he's crying! I think he's crying! <laughs> but the level of arcane power being generated here is, oh is intimidating. <laughs> all right? It's a, a crack, another blinding light as lightning arcs out from the ship and on towards the target. The fish visibly recoils, tendrils covering its body, little bits of weird shit that, can, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You see those yeah. deep sea fish and you're like, what the fuck is that stuff, thing covering? Yeah. yeah, that burns. It, it needs ignites. more nibbly fish to go on in. Yeah, well, small fish are actually gathering around this large fish now. Like you say, cleaning off little bits that are falling off mm, their Now's um, not the time, guys. They're hungry to gather things in a bell. Up. Yeah, quick there. God. As this happens, you knock the lure from the, the head of the fish. It knocks off and blips and skims and disappears beneath the surface as the lure from its head drops away and shrivels to a burnt little stub. A psychic scream em emanates from the creature and you feel the pain in your mind. You just take five damage. Again, the sound, it? the haunting sound <laughs> of a porpoise <laughs> fills your mind. I can hear a porpoise. Ah, and a dog is my mummy. <laughs> How much damage? Mm -hmm. five, five, I guess that takes time for our temp. Okay, yeah, we still got yeah. a little bit of temp. Um, it's tickling our temp. My temp has been tickled. By God, I need it. Uh, right, Titus, make a, a wisdom saving throw. Reach. Ah. <laughs> that hairy <sighs> fucking wrist. Get that wrist out of here. <laughs> Cover yourself. <laughs> Look. Look at my wrist. Yeah. Look at that monkey. <laughs> <laughs> my monkey paw. <laughs> That's a Ooh, 19 plus what we did? Wisdom. wisdom. Plus four. Once again, you feel the vengeful mental tendrils of this giant mental. demon. Get out! <laughs> demon? Touches his mind and says, do you want a dog to be your mummy too? I don't know, you're talking gibberish. Get out of there. And my once brain again, is not for you. This is my brain. It recoils. <laughs> feeling your <laughs> apparent intelligence. Um, it, it recoils once again. I'll have you one day, man. You here. Um, <sighs> sword, you'll go. So many mental games. I'm going to use my action mm. to get the crew to reload the cannons. Okay. Dr. Feelgood! Yes, sir! You're reload not the cannons! actually a doctor! Huh? I don't know if I've ever told you and this may not be the right time, but I'm not actually a doctor. We need to discuss this in detail afterwards. Very good. Because I am confused. Reload the cannons, crew! Reload. Uh, my bonus action 
I'm gonna pinball my flaming sphere back onto the crab. Nice. Uh, the one closest to him. Which so one? 2d6 damage. Um, the one in front of Pee, Pee or the one beneath the, the base other one. of the, the... The other one. The other one? Yeah. Okay. Roll your damage. It's at the end of its turn, technically. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I'm, I'm literally throwing it into it, right? So... Let me double check the spell, just to be sure. Just so I don't get the comments, you know? Yeah. Embarrassing. It's a bonus action, I can move the sphere. If I ran the sphere into a creature, that creature must make a saving throw. Okay. okay. Uh, so that's 15 dex, please. Um, it fails. Okay, so that's 2d6, yeah. Oh, shit. And then it Do stops damage. moving. So, yeah, it just bounces into him, takes the damage. I'll roll that for real, in real life. Real time. Seven points of fire damage on that crab. You kill the target. Oh, yeah, is it toasty? Yeah, it's toasty. It's, yeah. Oh, We're oh, good to boys. <laughs> Another toasty, perfectly cooked as well crab. The carapace prevents the flesh from inside from burning, but Beautiful. the heat transfers well and cooks the flesh to a rubbery, Wonderful. but still palatable texture. It's like tin foiling a chicken. Yeah, it is <laughs> like tin foiling a chicken. Yeah, exactly. It's been a while since I've had it. I want some. Okay, the remaining it's giant crab. As well. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? I presume that's everything. But I actually want some seafood. Some seafood. You want seafood now? We should have had sushi with this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the giant crab remaining, the one Kapipi is taking on, attempts another clip, 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 clip. Guy. I'm gonna give him a second roll. Finish her off, piss bag. I mean, pee pee. 13. Armor um, class 17. Boom! Scrapes off, and the crabs, the giant crabs, they question it. Well, the last remaining giant crab as it looks around its friends. Fuck! Plops off the side of the ship. Disappears. <laughs> <laughs> looks all around. That's a smart, and it yeets that is a smart itself, crab. It yeets itself into the set, into the water and disappears. It does that. Have you ever like been crabbing and then you put the crab back in the water and it like sinks away quite like? It kind of just gently like. Yeah. Bye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it disappears. You've been and saved. Today. That is no longer a threat I'll to the pee pee. You never know what to do with him after you get him though. He's tossed back. Yeah, especially swimmer crabs. Can't eat. Yeah. Them. Well, you break all their legs off and then toss them back in. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> Good luck down oh. at the bottom. That'd be horrible. Oh my god. Um, okay. Oh, what to do that this man cometh. Okay, I need each of you to make a dexterity saving throw. I used my inspiration, didn't I? Yeah. Is it this red one here? The fish oh, yes. shakes for a moment and it closes its mouth. What does mine say? Eight. Um, uh, ten. Hit. Three. Mine's 20. Fuck. Succeed. Fail, fail. <laughs> the fish. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And much like I just did then, it spits everywhere. Ah. Um, it uh, fires its teeth at you. Oh. So it's almost like a squirtle style water beam, but m amongst that water are jagged long teeth that are three feet long. Oh. Okay, these things are like, Having a sword fired at you, all right? Not, not sword. Yeah. <laughs> having a large blade, a yeah. sharp, jaggedy tooth fires a at javelin. you. A javelin. This tooth bounces once again off of uh, Kapipi's ever-present and very useful shell. It recoils, scrapes, and embeds itself in one of the masts. However, these other javelin-like teeth hit both Titus and sword. You each take. Six damage. Like a scrape. As you are caught in the shoulder, Titus. Shit! Kapipi. Like shoulder. Uh, not Kapipi. Sword, you are hitting the thigh. Ah, my motherfucking fart thigh! Ah! Piss. These are also venomous. Fuck. I need you to both do constitution saving throws. Oh. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven? No, it's a four. Hell, it's five. I think we okay. both failed. Right, so it's you um, both take two damage. Ouch. And at the end of each of your turns from now on, I want you to make constitution saving throws, otherwise you'll take, take it a off. d6 of damage. Yeah, roger that. Okay. How many more is this crab suddenly? <laughs> <laughs> Peepee, you'll go. Is it helping? Mm, no. No. Eating doesn't cure the, poison. The fish <laughs> is looking hurt. The fish right. is... You know, the, it's lost its lure. It's, it's now spitting its teeth at you. Um, things are starting to look desperate. The crabs have abandoned the fish demon. 
<clears throat> Not fucking happy. Okay, I'm gonna try and get uh, Terence involved. <laughs> what the fuck is Terence? You have a present Terence? Yeah. He's always there. The horned, forget about him. rabbit. We always forget about him, but he's always there. Terence is gonna uh, release a stinking cloud. We've seen this before. It starts with me pulling his tail and then pushing on his tongue. Beautiful. Stinking cloud. <laughs> stinking cloud drifts across the water. And that's a, a con save of 16. Okay. Do you still have the debuff from earlier or not? Yep. You do? Yep. So what does that mean? I, ro I, I rolled d6 and subtract it from my roll? Mm -hmm. Okay, so con saving throw. God, he's using music. Plus. What is that? 12. Oh, 12. He rolls a 12. Okay. So, fail. Okay. Uh, on a failed save, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. I can't believe my mum's a dark world! Stinky cloud! Ah. And he vomits up the corpse of Bongo. Okay. Oh, he's, he's see definitely dead. A mashed up, slightly charred and electrocuted looking Bongo just oh. bleh, no. comes out of the fish's mouth and then just drifts away on the surface. The beast destroyed him. It was always the beast. I did nothing to kill him. I don't know why you're <laughs> elaborating so much. I just much. need to make How much it clear. Did take? I don't think it does do any damage. Well, stinking cloud doesn't do damage. Yeah. Or is it like a stun, is it? I think Bongo died of natural causes. The that closer one look, to me. Looks like he just died of drowning. Yeah, he drank a lot. Yeah, just and reeling, that's all. Okay. Yeah, just incapacitates them, so to speak. Anything else you want to do, Kapibi? Uh, yes. I'm going to spend another Bardic Inspiration slot. Yep. Can I oh do man Mantle again? Or is that... Oh, what it? it should say in the in the thing. It's like, it's something like people cannot benefit from this. Yeah, granted. so it's however many Bardic yeah, Inspirations so you have. Yeah, so I've got four of those, so I can do it again, right? But yeah. doesn't it say something about, like, a person cannot be benefit from temporary... Oh, you can. You can use it again, but you don't get additional temporary hit points. It's only it replaces it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Each creature can immediately use its reaction to move up to its speed without provoking opportunity of attack as well. Oh, that's oh. good. Yeah, bars so I'm going to do that. Buffs. Guys, mm -hmm. just take a minute. We've got this. Thanks, buddy. Is that another plus eight? That is on top of what you already... But no, a minute no, no, is no, up to. Yeah, it, it, you are now at eight temporary hit it points again. It again. That's good. Yep. Take a minute. Thanks, That's ten buddy. rounds. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. needed that inspiration. Titus, I've got inspiration you're be up so. next. What does that mean? The inspiration thing, what was that before? Oh, that means you can roll advantage, uh, at advantage. If you do a bad roll, you can roll it again oh. and take the higher roll. I right. already wasted. So you could have done it on that poisoning, one. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well. Okay, Titus, constitution saving throw to start. Oh yes, of course. Shake off that venom, suck it out. Ooh, 17 You, plus plus you succeed? 18, yeah. You succeed and don't take any damage. Oh, I'm feeling a bit better. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit. Uh, you pull the barb from your shoulder. <laughs> <sighs> Lovely. Fuck, still pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Do I do a spell? No, you spend your time Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah, you can do whatever you like. You're, you have a full. I just had a sports massage. <laughs> you just had I'm gonna fuck this guy with a fifth level here. lightning bolt. Let's cover oh, our shit. eyes, people. It <laughs> was really effective before. <laughs> and this fucker ain't getting me. I'm building a trauma to bright lights. <laughs> cover your it's eyes, a, people. It's a big one. It it's, came through my hands. It's a 10 oh, so d I can see my bones. <laughs> Time for the big boy! Come here, fucking eyes! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm rolling the dice! It's 33 plus 33! 66! That's a 66 hit! <laughs> Jesus Fuck Christ! You, you stupid bastard! <laughs> 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 Alright, how do you want to finish it? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> this is a killing blow. I want several clouds to form in the skies. And lightning to just roll around and then you see the thunder. <laughs> My God, it's time! <laughs> and then several lightning bolts kind of strike each other and then form this giant bolt that <laughs> strikes from the middle thing and then boom! Right, with, there is such tremendous electrical force in this strike, everything you're wearing flashes to dust. Your hair! Totally, <laughs> you're <laughs> totally naked. What, all of us? No, no, just like, because he's channeled so much power that his clothes just go up. 
Like, but like, <laughs> in, in an instant. It's not even, it's like a nuclear flash, I'm right? Naked! But as you do it, his the raw power. Flapping in the wind. Billow! <laughs> yeah. Burns away in the, in the billowing. <laughs> One last billow, the, the cloak <laughs> flaps into the air before in, turning to dust yeah, as the wind away. carries it all away. The biggest lightning bolt you've ever produced arcs its way across the, the surface of the water and flashes. What happens to the fish? Do you think the fish would turn to dust? He's going to cook on the inside out. And you want to cook the fish? It needs to explode. Okay. The inside of the fish cooks eyes bulge in an instant its eyes bulge and explode each popping and then it goes Viscera. up and it just begins to rain tiny little chunks of fish Don't you're out of initiative it. congratulations you've bested Mion the demon fish Mion oh, there's no more I, where's that captain's hat more like me off <laughs> <laughs> high five on way <laughs> up in we're not Wait, near each other. No, nowhere near. Sky it five. Rains, sky five. <laughs> it rains fish for a few minutes before, oh. round a corner, round a, uh, a cropping oh. of rock, rose a familiar face. Well, he's being rowed, of course, by skeletons. Not ridden. He, they're he's rowing the ship. You, um, he comes out, aha! And he sees you stood there, I imagine, still panting, still slightly shocked, completely naked, and says, ho oh! ho! Looks like somebody was horny all along. Yes. Ready, for a, <laughs> ready for your reward? Oh dear God. He says, yes. rubbing his yes. spindly legs. I'm horny! What are you two doing? Arthur? It's been a couple of minutes. Um, I was slide down the crow's nest. We're heroes. Just for this day. Just and every day, day forward from here. Yes. <gasps> we can I, I be do heroes. feel like maybe one of us Contributed a bit more than the others, but I think it's without nice of you wow. to say so. It's Thank not. you for real. Without all of us here, <laughs> we wouldn't have made it this far. As a yeah. team, yeah. Yeah. you saying we were cape, guys? Oh. Saying we're a team. You should really put some clothes on. I know. Handsome Andy, give us the bucket. And he takes it off. <laughs> uh, instantly, you're reminded of his mess of a oh. face, his droopy eyes, his patchwork skin. We've got to change your name. I keep oh. thinking you're handsome under there. Yeah. yeah. We're uh, still recovering from some poison. So, yeah. not you. It's not you. It's not you. You're fine. <laughs> Cover your gonads Thank with this you. bucket. You're absolutely fine. You did great. Do you know what, handsome Andy? Yeah. You're beautiful the way you are. Thank Never you. Never change. It's not true, though. I, no, we'll, anytime we'll, I go into port, I've got to cover my face. I'll give you the bucket back after yeah, he's all done. Right. That's not handsome at all. Bongo's lifeless. Gnarled corpse just floating in the water. Fish, are you already like pecking at his skin? Oh, and, it's and, the way you like, would have wanted to go. <laughs> That's the ending. Let's see. He, Does that I mean I'm say, the first mate now then? You are the first mate, but way. I yes. would say Bongo had no faith in us. Not well, If anything, I think he deserved No, I, no, I well, that's sorry. Harsh. I feel that that's is harsh. harsh. That is harsh. Let's fish him out though. This, this is, they're, they're getting carried away with him. Well, I think. Get the net. He's, it's a Mendy. sea burial. Let's just salute. <laughs> right. You're right. As he gets nibbled to nothingness. All right, we have to watch though. I don't want to watch. Little fish are pecking and like, yeah, they're starting oh. to like tug it. God, they're really oh, no. larger, oh. larger predatory fish are coming up and like shark. tugging at the there body. Goes the leg. There Bits goes the of leg. leg are coming off. Oh, okay, oh, we can look man. away now. Yeah. We can look away now. Okay, yes. Yeah. He yeah. realizes he's not quite dead yet. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> he's still, he's still going. Oh, God. Oh, God. You go up. No, no, I was just asleep. Bongo. Oh, God. Oh, God. We should have fished him out. As he gets dragged below the surface by a particularly hungry right. shark. Oh, that's the shark for... Oh no! No, it's not. That one blew up, right? Oh, yeah. Different shark. I can't remember. There's different shark. Sharks. And Bongo so slipped beneath the waves. We'd like to say peacefully, but it was violent and it was against his own wishes. Fucking hell. Oh, we like, really didn't I'm, think about that. I'm mourning whilst eating a bit of the crab. Yeah. Oh, God. The yeah. crab tastes crab. great. The awful, crab tastes like victory. Awful. Do you want some? Shovel hands. I can't eat at a time like this. Fair enough. <laughs> Bongo used to eat. <laughs> <laughs> he Bongo did, didn't did he? He used to drink more. Mostly though. drink, though. Mostly, Mostly drink. drink. Yeah, those drink. fish are going to be God, pretty to love wasted. Hydration. We've been through the ringer here. We're the, ready. the Keeper of the Horn climbs aboard the ship. Keeper, we're ready for our rewards. <laughs> well, well, it's been One each, some time since yeah. we've had such strapping champions. Thank you. Mm. Um, you well, undead, falling come apart, on, then. strange creature. Climb aboard my rowboat. Can you just do it here? No? Yeah. Like we're, we're on a much bigger ship. Do it here. What are you doing? Like just the reward. What are the rewards? Yeah, what, the is reward. it just money? Was it money? A bit of money? <laughs> I really, I was not. 
the horny thing. Come on, you can trust me. Climb aboard the boat. I'll take you to the island. Okay. It is there you will receive your boon. Okay. okay. Are we going to get to make wishes for more wishes? I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> more wishes, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Let's go with him. Let's go, right, let's yeah. go with him. All right, yeah, let's in. go. All right, let's go. Once upon the boat, you are rowed to shore. You, uh, the boat bumps up against the uh, sandy beach floor, and the skeletons get out and drag you and the boat up so you can step out. <laughs> I go limp, so I'm dragged up. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in the boat when oh, they drag okay, the boat. Okay, okay. So they drag the boat up, containing right, right, you. Right. Um, Take me up. And you can step <laughs> out onto the hard packed <laughs> sand of this beach. The hornkeeper leads you up the beach, up a small set of it's stairs. It's really calm here. It is. When the titans are not summoned to do their work, it is a peaceful place, a coalescing of, of wildlife and currents. Bongo would have loved you this. Hear I don't know anything about Bongo. Walking away, a lot of seabirds use this as a, uh, a welcome resting point in a vast ocean. Uh, you are taken towards a structure. Amongst the seemingly haphazardly placed giant ship hulls, the rocks, uh, there's a few what look like hundreds of year old lean-to rags, things like that, dotted around. You come to what could only be described as a chapel of sorts. It is a... Not uh, three-pointed. Uh, three-pointed chapel. No, there's, no, okay, there's not three points. What it's actually been made from is two huge ship hulls have been somehow stood up on their ends so that the bows curve inwards onto each other. And that has created sort of the church's roof. You walk in through a, um, an entranceway and into the inside of this chapel. It's got a high, high ceiling where uh, the, the bows have, have, have cu- um, bent inwards and created a roof. Uh, inside this chapel is a makeshift altar, it seems, in the center um, 30 feet in front of you, uh, there is um, a raised, uh, well, there's a pile of empty chests for one. So many, many sea chests of all different designs from many eras. You see ancient ones, you see relatively recent ones bound in wood, metal, but every single chest has been pried open and it's empty. And they've just been thrown seemingly in this chapel to create a large pile. In the center of this pile is this altar Uh, This altar is more of a a stand, a a silver floor stand. It stands at about three feet high. It has three legs. At the top of these three legs is a metal circle, which holds a dark blue green orb about the size of a tangerine. The keeper of the horn um, gestures for you to step forth. As you see in front of you upon this altar is an orb. Place your hand upon the orb to receive your reward. Who wishes to go first? He wants us to touch his ball. Go on, Kapipi. You go first. I volunteer his well, tribute. Step forward, brave turtle. Brave? You, he, he ushers you forward. Amongst the, you, there's a sort of a walkway cleared between piles of chests. As you step up onto, um, and you place your hand. I, I, just, I, just, I just touch it. Just place your hand upon the orb. <laughs> Feel the power. Oh. Oh. Suddenly, you are transported. A few moments of nothing, and then the sound of water fills your ears. Suddenly, your mind is uh, somewhere else. Your body feels to be somewhere else. You're suspended in what feels like the deepest, darkest ocean. You cannot tell which way is up, which way is down. The only light around you is that which is faintly illuminating a gigantic figure just off in the, the, uh, the haze of this uh-huh. deep. <laughs> this gigantic figure looms in this haze and your mind and body is shaken by a booming voice. You hear this voice in your mind, a presence so great it almost hurts to hear. Whilst there is no recognizable sound in reality, you hear and feel a psychic shock so great that it creates an uncomfortable pressure around you and it shakes um, as you float in this great abyss. You hear the words, Hello, little (laughs) fish. What is your wish? Hello, who says this? I am at the heel of the deep. I am everything and nothing at all. I am the darkest presence. I am life eternal. I am a circle 
of all. Dark or triangle? Not a triangle. <laughs> I ask you again. You have been deemed worthy by my keeper. What is your wish? I'm quite on the spot. <laughs> I just... What do you want to be, Toto? What did your light, your flash, your moment, the brief consciousness you hold? What is it you wish it to be? I want people to love me. I want them to sing Sticky Mickey. Sticky Mickey. It is greatness you see. Greatness, that's it. Fame. I, I want people to sing my songs and know my songs. And be happy with my song. <laughs> <laughs> Do not cry, little fish. You've done well today. And you feel a sense of calm come over you. Yes. You do not feel scared or sad. Oh. You feel warm. Oh. You feel safe in the knowledge oh. that you will have a guiding light. That your whole career lays before you. A path illuminated for you. That's it. You understand now what the people want. You feel That's what they want. They want the songs me. enter your mind. Great ones, melodies, skip from that to the next. Oh my Rhythms. god, I could do so many different intros than just the one I just do. Just the one and done <laughs> intro. That's just evolving. Your mind expands. Oh my god, is it going to burst out of my ears? It my feels ears. that way. The pressure builds and builds and builds until the scene drops away from you. <sighs> and you open your eyes. You're back once again in the chapel. You awake draped uncomfortably over empty chests. What Sword and Titus saw was you placed your hand upon the gem. A moment of uh, stiffness, a rigidity, and then you just dropped to the floor. Well, it was a trick. He's dead. He's killed us. <laughs> Holy right. shit. Well, I'm leaving. All I'm right, out. see you later. You oh, stir some clothes. as one of the chests digs uncomfortably into your ribs. Oh wait, he's alive. And your eyes awake. <laughs> Peepers. <laughs> Kippy! Oh. Special K! What happened? I had a moment. Yeah? I kind of want to keep it to myself, if you don't mind. Oh, hey. oh, oh, fills the room. Sexy, was it? A mist it, fills the room. A horny moment, I see. Ah, horny, of course. Oh, yeah. I keep mentioning oh. horny. A mist fills the room all of a sudden. Fog seems to pour in from the chapel's door. Close the door! It can't be quite. It's actually just an opening. It's Shut that two door. boats. <laughs> the, the mist raises and raises and raises up to high height. Doesn't quite fill the chapel, but it is once again pouring in the floor, almost like a dry ice effect. You know. Oh, the lighting looks so brilliant with this <laughs> fog. It's quite dramatic. Through the fog, steps out a figure, a small goblin. <gasps> hey, Sticky Mickey! I know you, you're gonna be huge, I'm gonna make you a star! It's a goblin dressed in quite outrageous clothing. He's got sort of like a, a, a golden jacket on, like his, he's got like a waistcoat on, which is made with what looks like golden fish scales, right? And he's got a stick, like a cane, and he's got like a hat, and he's got a little cigar. Yeah. And he's like, hey! What's your name? You need an agent? Yes. I'd love an agent. I'm your man, I know it all. I'll take you to islands you've never even been to. I know the thousand teeth like the back of my hand. And on the back of his hand, he's just got like an, a map, like tattooed <laughs> on his hand. He's like, yeah, we'll go here first. Uh, 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 You're gonna be a star, Sticky. I'm gonna be a star. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Who Guys, the I'm, hell is that? Everything about I'm him. his agent, nice to meet you. What's your name? Gizmo. Sir? Who? Gizmo. Gizmo. Gizmo, nice Mr. Gizmo to the yes. friends. We go. We We're gonna, gonna make you big. And I got a tour all laid out for you. And he pulls out a little scroll and it's just a series of dates already. Three months from now, you need to get there, but you know. Guys, I think I've got, I, I think this might be it. Be farewell. This is real, I, I, this is real. yeah. I've got to go with Gizmo. You trust that Gizmo guy. He rolls it up. Oh, we can go on your boat if you like, but I got one to spare. It's airship. Airship? Oh, airship. <clears throat> what? Wow. It's That's got a platform nuts. dangling from the bottom as well. It's crazy. I'm a lot happier with that because I can't swim, so I'm always scared of falling in Can the ocean. Can you fly? <laughs> oh. Most people would argue falling into water and not being able to swim is a better situation than falling hundreds of feet to your death from an airship, but I like the way you think, you little idiot. And he donks <laughs> you on the head with his cane. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'll, I'll come with you. Okay. Guys, this is your dream, it's your ambition. It, yeah, it's time to, time to get be Are big. Are you guys going to touch the ball or should I just go? Yeah, if we get something like that, I'm touching the hell out of that ball. Yeah, right. I'll just go with you now. I'll come to one of your tours. No, we can wait. 
I got no rush. I'm your manager. You pay me, right? <laughs> I got paid. Well, sure. Okay, we go. Start What's all that? You must have loads of money. The talent in your boots. My, my two best friends here. I just, I can I just have a moment with them and then I'll be out with you. Nope. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm, gonna... I'm just putting you down. Yeah, he's quite a funny one, eh? And he moved... Classic goblin humor, eh? <laughs> I don't want to tell you exactly what happened to me in there, but you should touch the ball. If it's a sexy dream, then it's all right. It... Keep it to yourself. Yeah, I don't... Honestly, just touch the ball. Don't tell us what happened. Oh, I'll run up and touch it. Yeah. Boom. Again, you find yourself... No, fuck! <laughs> you find yourself it's suddenly so submerged. In the deepest ocean. Again, you don't know which way is up or down. You are dwarfed by the scale and the s- submersion in this in this space. You can breathe. You don't feel. You don't really think about it. It's like being in a dream. You know, you don't really think about the fact you're breathing underwater. You just can. Not the sexy behemoth, yet. A giant shadow. Okay, there's my king. A hundred times your size looms. Yep. Big m- small. Here we meters. go. <laughs> it's a big small fantasy. Yes. Hello, little tiny Ooh, fish. God, that hurts. I'm Good, though. Big. You're and big as fuck. He shakes and squeezes your body. You feel like a, a pressure all around oh, you. Oh, yeah. Squeeze me, Daddy. You have bested my keeper's bets. And now, for my entertainment, I wish to bestow greatness upon you. Oh, what yeah? Is your oh, God. That really put me on the spot here. All right, well, Kapipi's got fame and fortune, so he's got that nailed down. I'm a soldier. I want a mercenary army. I want to be the leader of the best army for hire in all of the Goldtooth Isles. Oh, you wish to win great battles? Yeah, I want to be a heroic figure. You wish to wage war? Feared, but also beloved. Wow. <sighs> It's a complicated request, but some may love you, some may fear you. Do you like you, really? Will you be paid well? You want to be paid? Well, I'm sure you'll be able to charge for the work. army I'll bestow upon you. This is a horny dream. And you float, you start floating towards him. And, oh, it, rather. And uh, just as the shape starts to make sense, a looming hand shoots out. Flicks. Fuck yeah! <laughs> you're, uh, you're, again, you wake up with painfully digging in. Uh, the, the, you, you've fallen down. Full mask. They, it feels like they should, you're full mask, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're rock hard. It feels like they, you knowing that this happens, should maybe put some sort of crash mat down, but you awake, draped painfully over several chests. Ah, God, and yeah. stand up. That was worth touching the ball. As you stand up, fully, mar- fully erect, suddenly the chests start to move around you. What? <laughs> things start to move. Oh, shit. Again, fog fills the door of the chapel as the chests continue to start moving and seemingly knit themselves together. Through the fog, as the movement is happening, comes a tiny little figure. I know those wings. The wings are beating away. Sir, sir, something's happened to my gems. Dr. Philgood, what's wrong? Report. I feel so empowered. Yeah? Yeah! Like more so than what I've done to you? I think so! And he gets a bit closer to you, and the gems on his body have changed from a green to a gold. He's had an upgrade. Maybe a fresh lick of oil on the wood as well, you know, he's looking shiny. Have you oiled yourself, Dr. Field? He's got a little gold tooth now as well. Uh, Oh yeah, I'm digging there. And his hat just looks so much better. There's something about the hat that you, you can tell he's sort of restyled it. And he's like, oh, I feel so weird, sir. Oh. And as he does that, an Iron Man style beam emanates from his chest. And the chests on the ground are struck by this light. And that light seemingly forms the objects into an animated homunculus of their own. Oh. The chests begin to form seven, eight foot tall automatons. My army. I think I can do this to a lot of shit, sir! Yeah! And it's essentially a super-powered animate object spell. Oh, shit. So your homunculus has a projector built into it that now essentially any group of objects, in this case the many, many chests on the floor, can be stitched together to create powerful homunculan soldiers uh, that you can use at will. How much power? This, uh, I mean, just here alone, he's managed to construct 16 of these, like, giga 
metal and wood fighters. And they're like, kind of like, you know that film with um, Hugh Jackman, where they're like the boxing robots? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. they're kind of like that. Yeah. Like, they're just these what huge, jacked, film. like, yeah. eight foot, like, they've got chests for chappy? fists. Wait, no. Huh? No, Chappie? not Chappie. No, Chappie. no, it's no. The one no, where no. they control it. <laughs> yeah. other one. I know what you mean. Yeah. I like that film though, it was cool. Um, yeah, the, the, you know, they, they look like they can just do a lot of damage. Like, you could probably okay. hack them to pieces with axes, but like... I've got so many of them. you just got so many. You've got an endless wave of, of animated well, soldiers. there's my lifelong dream. I used to be a soldier in a unit, now I've got my own! Looks like there's some real steel there, sir. Damn straight. And if um, you can do that to anything, holy crap. Yeah, I think so. Just keep me safe, yeah? Hey, Kapeeps. If yeah. you ever make it big, and you need security, <laughs> well, I got you covered. Actually, I cost fine. a fucking fortune, though, <laughs> just so you know. He likes money, but the, I mean, uh, well, I presume this is the keeper. I presume the gigs, the, the money he'll get from his gigs, I'm sure there'll be plenty of money. Rivers of gold. Damn I don't straight. think money's going to be an, op uh, an object for me. What well, was it going to be otherwise? I think I'm going to be rich. Well, yeah. All oh, right, yeah, I get you. I get really it's an analogy. Cool it. I'm just not it's, the keeper of the horn looks like to Titus. Happening. <laughs> yeah, the keeper of the horn looks to Titus. Um, I look at my this. musket quickly. Ah, still the fucking same. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, there's a tiny little bit of gold in the flint oh, now. Nice. <laughs> it's not going to work to ignite the powder, but it's now gold. Um, <laughs> there seems to be one more. How do I know these are true? How do I know this is all real? Well, I mean, you've seen the goblin agent. Are you Gizman. in my mind, Fish? It could be. We could all be in your mind. Oh you could have goodness. lost the battle. I mean, that, that way madness lies, both figuratively and literally. So it doesn't really matter. I'm going to touch the orange. Wait, what is it? Tangerine? It's the size of a tangerine. It certainly is. I'm going to go touch it. Did but, it hurt? Oh, yeah, but in a good way. Sexy way. Oh. <laughs> The feeling of the weight of a million tons of water you closes you it water? around you for a moment. Oh, God. Until once again, you are before a behemoth. Wow. You've never been in an ocean this deep, this vast, this dark. Hello. Oh, it stands, well, it doesn't, it looms before you, a great shape. Hello, little fish. Oh, my God. You did well. Hello. You, you taught that big fish a lesson. I certainly did. I wish to reward you for your actions. Oh. What oh yes. That you wish? Oh, something modest, I suppose. I lost my cape. Oh yeah, maybe I can get a new cape. Or oh, my shoes are a little bit. Maybe. Oh, oh is that it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just get a new billowing uh, cape. <laughs> I've always been taught not to be greedy. I want to be king. <laughs> you want to be king. I want to be a king. You thought not to be greedy. You want to be king. I want king, to be a king. king. But on the land. King, I can do that. On the land, yeah. King of the land. Yes, oh, please, yes. I too share this deck of the land walkers. You seem to rule over them. I see I that as a worthy. Supreme power. I will grant you title, land, serfs. You'd wish this. Yes, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I, didn't, I thought I was, thought I might just get a new cape or something, but that sounds better. King me! Grant <laughs> it. Huh? You're back in the room yeah. as air, as reality itself, sweeps back over you. Ooh. You don't fall to the ground. Oh. You drop to what? a knee. <laughs> I drop to one singular knee, or? And raise up a king. I'm a king now! No, you're fucking naked. As, oh, he, turns, still naked. as he turns from the plinth, naked. Ah. It's a penis flapping in the light breeze Where's that fills the chapel. Just, I mean, it's, but surely the length is impressive, no? Yeah, well, it's not bad. It's yeah. flapping in the wind. Yeah. Come on. Try Billow. Billow! Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's Terrence. Oh. Terrence. Yes, sorry about that. <laughs> the penis flicks. Oh my god, he's got oh a billowing. Oh my god! <laughs> I am a king! <laughs> you have now got a billowing penis. But that's not all! That's the horn. Oh. The horn master. The keeper of the horn. And he turns, he steps back, and through the fog, steps a little page boy. Oh. It looks surprisingly like the, the triton you saw oh. at the base. It's not him, but it, it reminds you of him. And I'll like, call you Finn-like. Finn-like. <laughs> that will be my name. Thank you, sir. You haven't had a name before? I haven't ruined a previous name? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. The funny thing is, I can't remember anything before I stepped into this chapel. Enough of this Finn-like. What have you got for me? <laughs> and on a pillow, he walks up to you and he's got like a very smart little suit. You know, he's got a little, he's got a real high collar. And on a pillow, 
there's a rolled up scroll. My. This is for you, my lord. Do, can you read it to me? Yes, yes I can. <laughs> okay, let me just... He, he takes the paper. Thank you. Thank you. This is a deed. Oh. A deed to a title. A kingship of an island in the Thousand Teeth. Oh. An island of great size, with great production, many serfs, small towns and villages literate. Wow. They provide an income for you as king. A castle is being erected as we speak, and you will be able to lord over all those land walker folk. Ah, yes. I will be a good king. And he bows and bestows the deed I upon really you. I really doubt that. There's a place for you in my lands. Yes? There is always a place Why for you in my lands. Why are you saying with such gritted teeth? Because now I am king. Oh, and right. therefore I am noble and gritted teeth. Yeah, he's instantly... Good people, there will be a stage for you there. Wow. I'll, I'll get my men visit. upon... <laughs> I'm still he's there. really <laughs> torn up at the moment. I know. There will be a place for you there too. You're welcome. If Maybe you, you can some guard. guards. Well, yeah. indeed, we may, we can, may need some guards. If you need to go on, you know, big expeditions or diplomatic... Precisely. We can be your uh, movement guards or something like exactly. that. Exactly. I don't know how it works. We now have a home. Good God. If you may. On the land. If you wish to join me, yes. You didn't go for the sea option. No, I've already kind of got royalty. Oh, down you there, got yeah. that. Oh, you like, want both. I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm a hybrid. I yeah, see. Covered, I see. Yeah. Gentlemen, the keeper of the horn says, <clears throat> with a knowing smile on his face, I believe your ship are waiting. What? Oh, yeah, you got it the airship. It's time for you to leave in who's your preferred take, method. Who's going to take care of the raw dog? Well, I presumed you'd sail it back yourself. Yeah, we, we can well, take it, you right? may seek. You may seek to cross the Atlantic. You may return to the Thousand Teeth to see King Titus's lands. Oh, that, I forget one thing. And he reaches down between one of the, uh, the piles of chests. You've dropped your crown, King. Oh, <laughs> thank and you. And he puts a little... The king! So, <laughs> I kneel. Nice All my homunculuses kneel. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. This is the bit where you say you kneel for no man. You kneel. <laughs> End of sentence. Ah, uh, well, we so, did. Yeah, you're right, king. Sorry, well, my lord. But you're still very welcome in my lands, of course. We, there's a home for you there. Thank you. But we should sail the... Let's do one final sail, sail to yes. the sunset. I've got to go yeah, with this guy and his airship. No, you should go. Mm, I, I, you should But go. you can come back. You, he puts time. his head in. Again! Man, I can tell you, you, you don't need to... We, we can go together. Yeah. He was quite misleading at the beginning. But we well, can I didn't feel like I was misleading. I, I said... <laughs> well, I said that we don't, you don't have to, we don't have to go you away. You follow us with your ship, We can together. We can follow. Yes, How about you that? Follow so us you with your fly ship. above. Yes. yes, that's fine. Yeah, just stay be a convoy of sorts. Oh, thank God I've been like preparing myself for like a goodbye or something. No, I thought we were going to have to say... I Goodbye mean, I feel like other. I took in more of what the manager said. You yeah. were very overwhelmed. I did not your take tour a starts word in of it. I can't three even months. what happened you when got I got to you got Three months until your tour starts. I've got to get writing. You'll get practicing on that ship. Can I come back to your kingdom and write some songs of there course. and test them out on the... On the can yeah. I kill some people in you your can't land? Can so <laughs> oh, yeah! Honestly, I don't know what it's like. You may have to. Yes. Well, let's... Let's, let's get on up home. Thank you very much for the Mr. Man who's here at the Horny. No problem. And if you ever get horny again, <coughs> you'll come back and see me, okay? Oh, we will. Oh, okay. oh, we will. How many times can we... Oh, he's gone. <laughs> wow, <laughs> like a gust of smoke. Yeah. Just wondering if we can just keep doing this until all our wishes are fulfilled indefinitely. We have to keep killing a massive beast. I know, but think time. of your army. How easy that'll oh, be. That's true. In the, in we the moment. Just, we can really game yeah. this, this yeah, horn. you're right. In the yeah. moment, I forgot to wish for more wishes. <laughs> It's oh. okay. No, don't worry. Don't worry. It's, it's overwhelming, it's isn't it, when you're there? Yeah. He's gone now. When you're there, it's like a booming voice. You, have the booming you should have voice. told us about the deep water thing. Oh, yeah. Give us some warning next time. I don't want to ruin it. Right. right. To the raw dog, everyone. Let's go back Let's to the raw it. dog. And as you climb aboard the ship, and Handsome Handy and the crew begin you're their fired. work to the. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> if you're not very good with a bugle, you are fired. Which way, sirs? Back to the Thousand Teeth, is it? To home. To home. I don't know where that is. Oh, you yeah. fired me off. I'll be honest. Right, I'll be honest and we're not sure yet. <laughs> we don't know where the Let's just say that direction. Oh, we'll just go that way, yeah? Yes, Did you point yes. that way? That way. Right? Over there. To the I think they pointed that way. Yeah, yeah. 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 Towards the sun. Towards the sun. Yes, let's oh, do that. Oh, bloody hell. Anyone got my bucket? And that's it. You sail off into the sunset. Who knows what adventures await you or whether we'll see you again. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But we hope to see you again, audience, oh. in the next series Lovely. that we'll be running next year of some form of D&D, most probably ran by Trotimus. 
That's you. That's um, me. <laughs> uh, we hope you've enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, great time. Yeah, it's been yeah. fun. It's, it's been, been fun playing time. with some stupid ideas, mm. and uh, we hope that the characters and their little stories entertain you and were satisfying. Actually, went a bit better than I thought it would. Uh, if you want to take anything home with you to commemorate Booty Season One, there's a wonderful poster made by Casper, mm -hmm. who's done all the art this uh, season. So go check that out on Fresh. He'll be getting a share of the sales of this poster as well. Of course, um, yeah, we'll yes, be sharing the indeed. sales with. I'll start to chuck some stuff on Patreon now. I've got like yeah, a bunch of um, images from both stuff Casper's drawn and just stuff like I, yeah. I put together all the AI art I was using as writing inspiration, nice. which I thought could be kind of fun. So, so if you're put some out in, it, um, in the artwork. Go to our Patreon as, as a thank you to our patrons as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. We appreciate yeah. you don't get much for supporting apart from the show itself. So yeah, thank, um, you, thank you very, very much, much for doing that. Um, and yeah, of course, if you've not seen the video version of this and you're listening right now, there is uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, or maybe in season two, you can catch us live on yeah. twitch.tv slash hatfilms. And we'll see you in the new year. Let's see you then. Thank you, Alex Smith. into the sunset. Billow! Billow! Oh my god, it's just getting used crane. to this thing. It's just tickled its way out of there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. Bye.